back to Dimension 20 Live! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It wasn't even close. Fantasy High <laughs> Sophomore Year. I'm your humble Dungeon Master, Brennan Lee Mulligan. With me, as always, are Intrepid Heroes. Say hi, Intrepid Heroes. Hi, Intrepid Heroes. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, first of all, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is uh, Dimension 20 Live. Uh, uh, you guys can check us out. We're an actual play show. We got a whole bunch of seasons of this that you can go watch. This is season two of Fantasy High. You can see season one on dropout.tv. We're also every Thursday. That means in a couple of hours from now, it'll be Thursday. Uh, we're also screening uh, Dimension 20 Tiny Heist, a little side quest uh, of crime and borrowers and tiny little people. Um, also, Dropout has uh, recently had a big uh, revamp. Dropout 2.0 is out. Now you can like download videos to watch uh, offline. You can like have your phone you know, in your pocket and be listening to Dimension 20 if you want. All brand new features, very, very cool. Uh, if you have trouble logging into your Dropout account, if you are already a Dropout subscriber, uh, go ahead and hit up our customer support and they'll get you sorted out because we did this big new revamp and it's very cool. But if you find that your password's not working or whatever, just go ahead and hit up our customer support. Um, awesome. To do a little recap of last session, our Heroes, the bad kids, teen adventurers from the Eggford Adventuring Academy, the World of Spire's premier high school for heroes, are on the quest to retrieve the crown of the Nightmare King. Uh, and they have just teleported from the pirate city of Leviathan to Arborly, a little village in the misty deep woods on the border of Silver, the forest of the Nightmare King. Uh, they have come here uh, after learning a tremendous amount from uh, stolen books and research, learning about the history of the unnamed mysterious goddess of uh, mystery and magic, the ancient goddess of Silver, having learned more about uh, <clears throat> Kalina the shadow cat uh, with a very potent scrying spell. Uh, and uh, however, not all was victorious last time, for indeed, uh, Adine's sister, Aelwyn Abernant, stole her spell book and the uh, Devil's Heart Ruby containing Gorthalax the Insatiable mm. and uh, teleported away, disappearing. Uh, our heroes find themselves uh, in the middle of the night in the village of Arborly. Uh, and we arrive now in the deep forest. Looking around you, mm. you see tall and ancient trees. The air is chill, but also damp. Mist clings to the floor, and though the fog is not visible, you cannot see roiling, billowing clouds of fog, visibility here is limited, sound muffled by an ambient mist hanging in the air, much dispersed, but present enough to make the faraway leaves blur and vanish beyond a short distance. The trees here are not small, but tower overhead. Ooh. Unlike the straight, golden-limbed trees of Thalinel, these are curling, twisting branches, limbs, and trunks, creating circles and curves of spaces seen between the limbs and branches so that as you walk through this place, curves of trees eclipse each other and images of glades and grottos vanish in a moment as you walk. The forest has a way of obscuring itself through you as you move. Down on the forest floor, there are deep, thick ferns and overgrowth. Vines grow up around the trees. There are tall reeds and areas where the grass becomes so high that it becomes reedy and up above the top of your head even. But you see there's a small kept path through the grasses and ferns of flagstones that leads to a iron gate. The gate is in an old stone wall around a massive tree. This tree is Holly Hill, uh, which is the manor uh, that your music business associate uh, <laughs> inherited. This is like an old family estate. Like, so that thing of like, oh, my, my family moved to Spire a couple generations ago, but we inherited this place back in Arborly. Um, this gnome's name is Grover Tillythatch. 
which is the sort of venue executive that you, you inspire. Um, Holly Hill is a sort of gnomish manor. So what you see is the tree is this tall, enormous tree. And set into the base of it, uh, there is a uh, little like birdhouse almost, but like an exquisitely wrought shingled birdhouse, uh, but set into the ground with a little sort of curved, rounded edged door. Uh, the door is big enough for human sized people to move through, which lets you guys know that this thing is like exquisite. This is like a big manor house for gnomes. But for you guys, you you know, for Gorgog, you have to like duck your head to get through here. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this mansion. Uh, up above, you see that the inside of the tree must be hollowed out because you see birdhouses, little hammocks, rope bridges, little sort of circular platforms high up above where the branches splay out and turn into leaves and the canopy of the forest that you are in. Uh, Anyone of you that wants to, you can go ahead and make a perception check for me. Fifteen. Mm. Probably not going to be a fifteen. Also a fifteen. <laughs> a cool six. Also a fifteen. <laughs> uh, we're sleepy. Kristen. It's dark in here. Uh, you look out at the uh, edges of the forest, away from Holly Hill. Everyone's sort of looking ahead. You turn around and look behind you. You see a place where the trees begin to grow so thick that they're is no dirt between them. The trees stop spacing out, so trunks and roots just commingle and begin to come up almost like a massive wall. Like all these trees just blended together and had this huge canopy, and where there would be gaps between them, you see truly 80 feet tall of thick, barbed, razor-sharp briars a enormous wall of thorns that fills the gaps in this huge layer of trees. As tall as the trees are out here, you see that wall made of thorns and tree trunks mixed together and it dwarfs anything out here. It it's almost looks like a tidal wave frozen in place, like this forest wanted to keep rolling out, and you see the gnarled branches of a green so dark that it borders almost on like a, a purple or like a, something so deep and profoundly menacing that you can see it like an oil slick on the leaves up at that larger impending forest stopped there. So we might need a hang glider. Hell yeah. yeah. I think that Definitely. sounds That's right. what I was just going to say. <laughs> well, we I'm have an octopus it. in now. Yes. <laughs> There's a big wall. We got to go hang glide. glide in. Can the van hang glide? <laughs> I'll ask him. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys do as you. Are we walking distance to that wall? Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like it might be like. 30 minutes away. Oh, okay. uh, And with that high perception, by the way, you also look, and it's hard again seeing through the mist. Obviously, like, you see no definition, really, on any of the stuff you're seeing. You can just see it because it's so enormous. But you, with a 23, can spot other platforms. Like, other, you're like, okay, this, we're, this is not just a little gnomish manor in the middle of nothingness. You are literally like, oh, we're in a town, but it doesn't look like a town, it looks like wilderness. And then you're like, oh, these are like wood elves and gnomes that live here. They've constructed their town to be hard to spot. We should talk to Grover before we go. Yeah, can around I borrow match. someone's phone? Uh, I, I don't mean, think that my phone will call Grover. Do you, I don't think any of them work. Can I mean, we knock on the, here, you can do our oh, phones work is now? is Grover not there? It doesn't look like Grover's there. Yeah, I, I think to, I would have did to. Did Grover say that it was okay to go in his house? All he said was that there's three hot tubs. Well, do you want to? Well, what? isn't that code one two three five? <laughs> Let's just give it a buzz. It's Shall one two three we? five, right? It's one two three five. We can get in. Go, is um, there like a? You go up thing? and see that there is a piece of spire technology oh. on the outside of this. It's like a little keypad. You see that this is about like ten years old. You immediately clock this as like not very recent. Yeah. Not the newest. Uh. <laughs> well, does the code work? I try one, two, three, five. Um, beep, beep. Goes green, and you hear something unlock in the little iron gate. What did I say? Has okay. your girl ever not delivered? I, 
Yeah, yes. multiple times. <laughs> have actually. you ever? Not, I mean, if we're looking <laughs> at the full Maybe more than you have delivered. Not to really. I mean, it's you always when you're down, entertaining when you do. I mean, none of us have really but, delivered. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, none right, of us right, right, no yeah. one is holding you to that expectation. I yes. dive <laughs> head first into a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You, uh, you <laughs> run. Heat those things up. <laughs> oh um, God. Uh, you guys run inside. Uh, what are you guys going to do <laughs> with the with the the hang van right now? Because the hang van actually hasn't really moved since <coughs> uh, Valinel. Like you guys teleported yeah. it to Leviathan right. and then yeah. teleported right. it again. Maybe we, can we bring it beyond the gate? Yeah, what's yeah. going on through bring this gate? Is the there gate. a garage yeah. situation Oh, somewhere? I'll go inside and I'll look for a garage opener. Uh, you see, you're looking around, you're suddenly like, ooh boy, like this, this, like, this whole situation with like uh, the van here uh, there's no roads, like, and the 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 terrain is so like unlevel. Mm -hmm. You're in like deep forest now. Huh. Is there? And let's talk quietly because I don't want to offend the van. But is there a way to take that the crystal oh, out oh. so that we preserve oh, and, and then and we can kind yeah. of keep the van where it is? But if yeah, it gets fucked, we didn't lose. Well, the, the van's pretty cool, I should say. Uh, yeah. We can what about a bike? Well, the van itself, of course, of course, the van is really cool. Van, yeah, can it axe, change? I mean, it, van, it turned into a boat. <laughs> yeah. Could yeah. it turn into like a little, it, a little it, like, van? I'll talk to the van. I'll talk to the van. A lawnmower or a thorn mower. Oh, could it turn into a thorn mower? What about a kind of thing that can walk over a devil wall? Yeah, could it turn into like a a Gundam? <laughs> yeah, is it a transformer? I'll, I'll go ask the man. I'll go ask the <laughs> Can we move uh, the hangman inside? Is he? Can I cast enough? fly on the hangman? Can you cast fly on the hangman? Uh, it's a willing creature. Does the, does the hangman count as a creature? I'm going to say what that about because if I the fifth it, level? in canon, the hangman cannot control itself, I'm Dang. going to say no. Uh, hangman? It is a vehicle. Can I go to the hangman? Hold on one second. Uh, <coughs> Brennan was just running through all of the possibilities of the things you could do with a flying van in the future. <laughs> yeah. Cut I could see that. I was like, I was Cut like, it. he would be fine with it right now, but just straight into you know the big bad at the end. It would just be like we fly away in our flying car. <laughs> <laughs> Get our flying car, a, a, a flying car that I've allowed you to cast Hallow on, so it's like, it's a flying car with it's infinite an space inside that we're impossible to fuck with while we're at. Uh, uh, cool, you go over, uh, you see that the hang fan starts playing some music and goes, oh boy, <laughs> looks like we got the crash pad. Hey, Look at hey. it. Hey. Just sort of dance over <laughs> to the hang fan. I'm watching this and just being like, What's I don't know. Hey, uh, dude, I was just gonna ask you, um, so we're going through this forest, not such a great road-friendly, van-friendly space. Oh. Is there anything you can do, you know, I'm I'm wondering if we can figure out a way to make you be able to cut through or get smaller or, you know, we can't fold you up or anything like that, right? Dang, you know, um, if I were a, a cool, fresh slice of za, I would say fold away, man. But I'm a full, <laughs> I'm a full vehicle, so sure. sure. My my gut instinct um, would be, and by gut, I guess I mean my engine. <laughs> He's on fire today. He's on fire. Uh, Ditch him. Would be, Ditch. Uh, would be. I don't know how to do that myself. Sure. But I'm super down if you want to make me oh. fold up a bowl or anything like that. Well, I don't know if it's in my means to be able to do that. I was just wasn't sure if I could press a button or something to make that happen. But uh, I could tinker around, see what's going on. Can I can I make a check to see if I, there's anything with the van that? Oh uh, yeah, give me a like, tinkerer's tool check. Okay. Ooh. Seven. Seven. Can I can I help him? Sure, Ad, I can give you the help action. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, you look at it, you, uh, like, this is like an intense project that you could, you think there's a way to accomplish this. You would just need um, resources and a workshop. Mm -hmm. Repairing the hangman was, was helped by the mending cantrip, sure. Fabian's wax that had a specific like magical attachment to the hangman, mm -hmm. it, plus 
like your ability to use the parts, like you just have to repair damage sure. that had been done to stuff. This is giving a functionality to a thing that doesn't have it. For sure. Okay. But uh, if you had a workspace or you had, like, you would just, it's a question of resources. You would just gotcha. need some stuff. It doesn't feel impossible to do. Why don't we just cover it in some leaves? Yeah. Um, chill. Okay. Great. That's, is that me. where we want to sleep tonight? Can I do like a, a performance check I know on we those this leaves house, to make them but... very, I mean, right. I think I'm gonna sleep in the house just because uh, it seems like a rare opportunity to have like a I'm private balcony. I'm just worried that the, we're just the kind so of the night close to well, the we'll nightmare. We'll do like a once over and we'll like make sure it's chill. I'm sleeping chill. in the van. Can, can we put the van, there's no big open doorway in this tree, right? <laughs> that a van could fit in. A uh, big open doorway. Is uh, that like kind of like an indoor outdoor open space? <laughs> well, yeah, like a patio, tree, big patio you sliding yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, big patio sliding door. Everyone go yeah. ahead and give me an investigation. All right, everyone okay. go find a big door for the van to drive into. I'm going to oh. regret that. <laughs> um, I got a dirty 20. 22. I also got a dirty. Uh, oh, no matter what, I'd like to find Investigation, cool 22. Thing. Investigation, gotcha. <laughs> Two minus one, one. What about if I, I oh. can't do it yet because I would have to sleep, mm -hmm. um, but I do have enlarge reduce. Um, oh. I would have to take a long rest. Sure. But oh, I can enlarge reduce the so van. For now, we could just park the van next to the house. Well, did anyone yeah. find a big door? Oh yeah, did anyone find a big uh, door? Uh, you guys, uh, you guys, uh, there is an area of the, of the, sort of fence uh -huh. that you see does have a little latch on it that you could pull aside and bring it into the like interior yard yeah. okay, next to the that. tree. Yeah, so we Great. just bring it out of the property. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you jump in and turn the van on, um, you guys hear a muffled noise coming from either like under the hood or somewhere near the front of the van. Galir, get out of there! <laughs> no. I, I turn the engine off and I pop the hood. Uh, you don't see anything under the hood. Oh, Hello? Turn off the broken. turn off the radio. This feels. Hang <laughs> <laughs> where, where is Galir, by the way? Yeah, where? Galir? Galir? Uh, you guys hear another noise, like. Can I check underneath the van? Okay, that's gotta be uh, Galir. You check underneath the van. Galir is caught up in the front left wheel well of the. <laughs> Of the van. How did that happen? You see that a uh, toy. <laughs> did you just break the rules of teleport, Galir? You got stuck. You in... see that there is a clear tear on the hem of his trousers that got caught in the like axle of the front left oh. wheel, and oh, he got kind of sucked up into the wheel well. And also, there is a sort of an app, like an apple, that got jammed into his mouth. So it looks like he was in the middle of eating an apple. Clear, we kind of forgot Did about you last butt? week. What's that? Did you see his what? Did we see his what? Did you see like, his butt? Like Did his like pants go? I saw like like his butt. I slide of hand to pull up his pants. I slide of hand to pull up his pants. Look, I got for... an eight. I got an eight. <laughs> eight slide of hand to pull up his pants. Cool. You. Wait, no, no, no. Vic, what are I you doing? I got a ten. Stop touching his butt. That's so inappropriate. I'm, I'm just gonna roll a luck check for Galir to see what his pants situation is about. Touch your dad's butt. I have never touched my dad's butt, nor do I want to. Cool. You go to like slide of hand his pants. You pull. You hear something, it's a, it's a very metallic noise. You don't know where it's coming from. It's coming from the, maybe the clasp of the pants, but you hear him go <clears throat> again, right, uh, and you see that it's a huge out. rip. Um, oh, no. These pants are not made well. I cast it's, mending on his pants. Uh, you cast mending on his pants. Life. Um, cool, so, are you, so Galir is I, up I, in yeah, there. I start, I'd like I start yanking him out. Yeah, I start yanking yank him out. out. Yeah. yeah. You yank him out, he is covered in like, rubber residue oh. and oil from being up under there. He <laughs> spits the apple out and goes, oh! <laughs> Do you just break yourself? Sorry, sorry. sorry. It's, not oh. it's not funny, it's not funny. Um, you see, he goes, he goes, oh, 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 children, thank you, I, Got jammed up there under the wheel. Uh, what happened? We haven't turned the oh, van yes. on in a while. Yeah. Yeah. I've been up there since it wasn't the teleport. I've been up there for a while. Did you just fully miss your girlfriend? Yeah, my mother was there. What? Yeah, Mama in, came. Hilario? Yeah, did, oh. I, was, I assumed that you had snuck away for a moment. Or, 
But you were just fully in a wheel. No, early the morning that we awoke at Kylo Minura, I thought I would just kind of wheel the van around to get ready for us to teleport away. And I was, the grass was covered in a sort of morning dew. And I did that thing where you leave the driver's side door open when you're just sort of, you know, just doing a quick yeah, reverse. Are you in neutral? Oh, yeah, but oh, are you just. You were having a little fun doing something for yourself. I was doing a little trick for myself. <laughs> to let Galea, my... were you ghost riding your way? Yeah, it sounds like you were ghost riding. <laughs> After our smashing victory at the rescue of Adine, which again, I was mostly watching the van for that. I wanted to let my bare feet touch the dew of the morning grass. I, As you drove. Just sort of to let the van go into a slide. I wasn't even gonna break five miles How an much hour. were you leaning out of the van <laughs> so that your foot the could dew? touch? Just let my feet touch the dew Where did the, the apple grass. come from? <laughs> I was eating an apple, so that's part of it, is that I put Too the apple in my mouth. I put the apple in my mouth to on. shift, and I had yeah. my foot Fully up. Fully stood up was... out of the van so that your foot could touch the ground? No, I was sort of, I was, I was just sitting on the edge, and I had my thing in the, but I couldn't, my, because my right leg was bending. Are you okay? No! <laughs> 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 Let's get inside and give Galeer in a hot tub. I hug Galeer. He, he accepts the hug and goes, <laughs> I heard a dance was happening when I was trapped up there. <laughs> what? And we, did a, we did a whole, there we was did a, a big dance. ceremony. Everyone, yeah. everyone, everyone danced. Why didn't you pull for help? I tried, but the if I screamed, I had an apple jammed in my mouth when, because my trouser got caught on the wheel because well, I went too fast and then I got sucked the out of the... Out? Yeah, why well, did you eat through the I'm apple? I'm glad you're out. I'm no, so sorry. The apple was the pressed up against <laughs> the, the carriage of like, the car. Like this, the and then oh, okay. and I, if was, I screamed, if like I tried to scream too loud, I would create an opening on the side of my mouth from the apple and there were ants found me. So there were some ants oh, that were floating. And if I did that, the ants would get in my mouth and a couple of yeah. I'm so sorry that this happened. I just want to double check. I forget what happened. Did I give you an extra set of keys? Or was there another set of keys? To the van? Yeah. I just had the one set. You haven't That made... was in the... Okay, cool. Yes. Good. Did you happen to see Aelwyn escape when you were under there? We we had a thing where, it, where Aelwyn escaped. Oh, terrible. Um... <laughs> Mostly for that day, I was just sweating and crying. You didn't hear anything or any plans or her talking to the tabaxi woman somehow. Until we got to Leviathan, I was mostly covered in ants. So I <laughs> mostly okay. didn't. Okay. All right. I think we've wow. we we so, Let's get you clean. Yeah. Yeah. Throw yeah. that apple out. Don't eat that apple. Yeah. Stop it's covered eating in the apple. Let's put the apple away. No. 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 It's <laughs> oh, it's hey, so buddy. brown. Buddy, I, oh. oh, God. <laughs> oh, but where uh, Hilarial came. Yes. Uh, she, uh, as she must have been so concerned that she didn't find me. Mm. Oh, I mean, she was. She had bigger issues. I guess there's been a food short shortage back at home, mm. and I think she was so hungry that she didn't think to ask for She's you. Hungry. She did mention you, though. She said she ate all your yogurt. Yes, she, she said that. that. She yeah. was. She's thinking about you. She said she was, she was thinking, thinking about a lot you. about yes. you. I want, she an actually... honest, I want an honest response to this question. Of course not, Galia. Don't be dumb. No, listen. <laughs> don't, no, don't listen to him. <laughs> She, you wanted an honest whoa, answer. Whoa. No, I agree. I think he needs to know. She I took Cathilda back with her so that they could make more yogurt for you, so that you have <laughs> yes. a hero's welcome when you get back. Hey, Real I'm not going to stop this line, but dairy. I kind of agree with Fabian. It's maybe time. Why don't we go back to the house? Guys, and just yeah. <laughs> he's not dumb. He's just pathetic. He's kind of. Hi. At least take it to the message <laughs> chat. Yeah, <laughs> come on. You can't call after the message. message chat anymore with your dang. Oh, you mean that um, message? I thought you meant on the phone. I am going to. Wait, you guys have a secret chat with? No, Adam? we have the same chat. You just have a bad phone that doesn't. What do have you guys been saying messages. in the chat? Can I see the chat? We just have mostly been talking. Our phones are not working. It's a lot of really funny jokes. There are a lot of memes. We should the go Bluetooth to the house. Thing if memes, if the I may be so bold, I don't intend to rigorously stand up for myself <laughs> after having gotten sucked up into the <laughs> wheel well of the van while I was reversing it and <laughs> crashed into the side of the house. Do you need medical house. attention? Very. 
No, I you... soiled myself. Just, yes. Not in a pathetic way, just I was up there for a lot of you hours. You soiled yourself not in a pathetic <laughs> way. Not in, okay, you know no, what? Yeah. Not in the way where like, oh, I'm so scared. I saw, it was just like, well, I'm up under here and it says apple jammed in my mouth. I'm gonna piss. So instead of accidental, <laughs> it was. What if you were only there for like two hours, you would just. Have pissed yeah, how yourself? Quick, how quick did how you, quick did you, you do understand it? is I did the thing with the van when I really had to go. So we made it a good 10 minutes into being trapped. <laughs> let's say Galera with the spa day. Yeah. 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 One of the let's hot tubs is going to you... be Galea specific. Yeah. We'll take the other Definitely. two hot tubs. It'll be the yeah. Galea tub. Yeah. Well, he should, he should All about shower it, buddy. first. Yes. Yes. I'm, going to, I'm going to take a bath. Um, Adine. <laughs> Could I trouble you and your miraculous jacket for another set of pants or a mending cantrip? Either one is fine. Absolutely. Uh, I'll. I'm not going to mend your piss pants. Here, here's another no? pair of pants. No. Have it your way. And you see that he. Also kind of grumpy. Adine, give him something nice. Oh yeah, here we oh, go. Give him a boot cut. Yes. Oh, <laughs> a boot cut? Okay. Yeah. Do you want I, cowboy boots as well? I actually prefer very narrow ankles and a wide <laughs> yes, and a wide front and back oh, carriage to my, the seat. It, I'm all out of pants, so the boot cut is gonna have to do. <laughs> you just need the right boots. Give him some boots. Yeah, give him yeah. some boots. I do have to justify the cut. Oh my God, Chelsea boots. Wow. Yes. The Chelsea boots. Honestly, yes. Honestly, keep going. Chelsea a little bit of ankle a denim vest. And like. Ooh, a denim yeah. vest and a chambray embroidered shirt. Oh, yes! Galea! Oh, yeah. A beret. That's, oh, and a beret. Final thing. There we go. That's all a beret. Of my, that's Makeover! That's all the value of my coat done for the day. I'll take all those off exactly. and put these clothes on. I don't know how to look, He's going to look so tasty in this new outfit. The oh ants are going to come back. Oh, oh my yeah. God, you're right. And so little hilarious. Maybe. All the little gnome women oh are going to be going God. crazy yes. in town. Did you see the beret? We respect you. You're gonna look bread? really good. I, I'm serious, Galeer. It's Chambray! Yeah. It's Galeer. It's Chambray You're the chosen and one. Beret. It's, it's Chambray oh. Beret. Oh! Okay. Now that's, that's a man who doesn't get stuck in a wheel well and piss himself. <laughs> yes! I'll tell you that. That's that, a man that who dude would hold, That dude would hold out six, eight hours. Easily! Uh, oh yeah. Before he shit himself. Uh, easily! At least, two hours. At least two. He wouldn't give in right away. Yeah. Just because he had to go to the bathroom a little bit. I... Wow, understand that you are all teens, and I take all of this in stride. I am, in all earnestness, extremely grateful for the beret. I actually do think this fits my general yes. aesthetic. I think it looks really good. You, Galeer, you look like you just went on a shopping spree to papaya. Uh, you see, Galeer says, I'm going to walk inside now and find one of these hot tubs. Great. Yes. Take, take a shower a first. Shower first. Let's go. Shower first, then hot tub. And then shower, shower after. First. You don't want the. You don't yes, want it you on don't you. want those chemicals on yeah. you. Yes, shower first. Uh, Galeer walks towards Holly Hill. Love you, Galeer. Uh, daughter, I love you as well. Thank you for. I'm really sorry. I didn't know that you were in the wheel well. It's all what it is. And he <laughs> <laughs> walks. And he walks he's away. You see Sandra Lynn. He's gonna do great. Sandra Lynn walks up and goes, uh, <clears throat> the, I'm gonna ask, because I'm older now too. Mm -hmm. Are those clothes actually good or are the clothes bad? No, they're good. They're good. I actually I think Kalia would look yeah. good in a Chelsea boot. I mean, I he needs a change. Us, and no, maybe this is, we're out cool. on the road, nobody's yeah. gonna see okay. him. Maybe he'll take something. I think he'll, he'll maybe just try and something new might be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't hurt. No, I don't, if it, if it, I don't lower than this. I can't say if in the long run a beret is going to be a permanent fixture on his head, but uh, it's a huge swing. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen a lot of rock bottoms yeah. from Galea, and maybe this will be the thing that that takes him up a step. Um, Sandra Lynn nods and says, "Okay, I, I'm gonna um, take." I feel very bad that we let Galeer get jammed up in that wheel well for so long. I'm gonna yeah, go make sure. Too. Let's just all keep an eye on Galea. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah for good sure. Call. Yeah. Um, uh, so Sandra Lynn goes in Baxter, you see flies up to one of the branches. Um, Rog is, is there with trackers while Rog's looking up and he's like, oh hell yeah, we're gonna fucking wreck this place. Let's fucking do it. You trying to party? I don't know what we're doing. Dude, we should get all the this fucking is... people in this weird, misty ass, sad town and fucking party. I mean, I'm down. Uh, I know I'm we've definitely got big down. I could go for that. Yeah. This is Hell somebody yeah. else's house. Can I house. forage? Yeah, my friend's That's house, me. and I said it's okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Can I forage? Hey, Adam. For all yeah, I'm sure this guy. Drugs? What's that? <laughs> Can I forage for all natural drugs? Yeah, give me a survival check. Survival check. Or give me a nature I, check. Nature I check. thought you were straight edgy except for hallucinogens. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a health check. Just roll the two twice in a row. 
<laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna, I got a, what was it, survival? Mm, okay, that's gonna be a five. The only thing you find that looks like it might be a drug is there is a ghost white mushroom that has a black imprint of a skull on don't, the top of it. That. I started to put it in my mouth. I, I, I I think, think, All right, let's go inside yeah, the house. We've been trying to go inside the house. Yeah, let's go inside, the, yeah, house let's go inside the house. Honestly, the, listen, this guy fucking Grover, Grover Billy, Bill, 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 Bill Tilly, 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 Tilly Thatch. Thatch. You think he invited a rock star to his house and was like, oh, they're not going to smash the place up. Can it's I make true. A, it's an honor a, a to perception get... check on this place? Yeah, give me just, just, I don't know. Make sure there's no like traps. Or like, is this person? I guess I can I mean, do some kind of, I'll do some kind of, um, I'll do some kind of perception uh, check yeah. on my memory too. of this guy. I got a dirty yeah, 20. Cool. Like, do I, or is there like, anything it, I should know going in? Like, is this a tricky guy? Does he have, uh, does he have video cameras up everywhere? Is he some kind of freak? Oh yeah, is this guy looking to watch yeah. teens make yeah. out? Yeah, see if that's uh, my dirty twenty is gonna tell me whether or not. Uh, you you think this dude was uh, was extending an honest invitation to be able to say fig and the sig fig stayed at my summer place in. Well, cool. This guy is this guy's okay. chill. Cool. And oh. we can have a party. Do you think that they have fluffy robes? Yeah, they do. I think I've, he talked about the fluffy robes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think Riz and I, from our Compass Points library book, know where the um, temple is in Silver. Mm -hmm. Is there a way for us to know how close we are to that mm -hmm. currently at this house? Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to say uh, you guys have the maps. This temple is, uh, the, the large temple mm -hmm. is extremely <coughs> close. It's mm -hmm. like right past here, um, it's sort of like across the border into the Fourth of the Nightmare. Could I do Kind of on the other side of that crazy impenetrable wall. A little Did bit. it look like that was. If you were going to the center of the Forest of the Nightmare King, you would directly pass this temple after like a day or two's travel on foot. Hmm. Well, let's go into this tree house. Really Can I actually, before I go in, do a locate creature to see if the wood elf that I saw in my scrying is within a thousand feet of us. Awesome. You do a quick uh, divinatory sweep. Uh, you don't detect that guy anywhere. And in <laughs> fact, you look around and uh, uh, the, it's, I think for thoroughness sake, Adam would definitely cast Locate Creature, but mm -hmm. looking at just the, the, the flora of uh -huh, the place. It just looks different. Yeah, you're just like, this is all, it's spooky here, uh -huh. but everything is healthy. Nothing mm. is. That little, it's that not little, drippy like it was. There's not. It's not it, drippy. It's, it's in not. Swamps drippy. of ruin. I bet that's where. Oh. The swamps of ruin is where. Oh, you're. that's so far away. Yeah. Or the. Mm. Or just like it could be right in the center of the forest yeah, in a true, way that's true. like. Well, dark and creepy. Shall we go in the house? <laughs> yeah, let's go in. We've been trying house. to go inside. Yeah. You guys go in the house uh, immediately. Find the sound system. Find the sound oh, yeah. system. Um, I plug in my phone. <laughs> yes. It's oh, all like a meditation. meditation. <laughs> I thought it was like you NPR. Oh, I was yeah. imagining like the soundtrack to a carousel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, really interesting deep dive on Mei Chen and its invention. And like, it's like three hours of the history of the Mei With, Chen spell. Yeah, this oh. Elvillian life was <laughs> one of yeah. intro. Um, you I see also, before she leaves, Ida comes into the house with you guys uh, to kind of like uh, give a little like farewell. Um, uh, to give you an idea of what like your NPCs in the house are up to, um, you actually see that uh, Baxter's sleeping out. There's like a sliding glass door in one of the things Baxter's sleeping out on the front. A lot of like spire technology has like made its way to this dude's house in Arborly. Um, uh, you see that Sandra Lynn has actually got uh, Galir up on like a, a sort of like laid out on like a day bed in, in one of like the public rooms, oh, yes. and it's like giving him like a massage to like help him out because he's. I had feel a, like he's needed that for like three years. Just any it's kind just of human nuts. touch. <laughs> yeah. You see that she's really like help. He's like got a. She's like, geez, Galir, you gotta like this is something you should make a part of your routine, and he's like, I am. Extremely broke. Um, <laughs> and the cracks uh, are so loud. This is unnatural. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but Sandra, you see Sandra Lynn being a lot more affectionate to Galir than she has maybe been for the rest of your trip. Um, uh, Raga is just have, is taking huge things of food out of like multiple like fridges in this place. Um, 
How uh, many fridges does this place have? Oh, it's got it's got two in a like storage space downstairs. There's another one in the kitchen. There's like another kitchen for like a guest suite upstairs. Amazing. Insane. Um, cool. Uh, Sick. You see, uh, uh, and then Tracker's mostly like uh, hanging tight with whatever you're doing, Kristen. You see that she's a little, she's been a little like rocked since the whole Galakea, the sister thing. Yeah, can I talk to her really quick? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tracker, you know, I was thinking, like, you shouldn't feel guilty about giving me any sort of sickness or anything like that. Because I was thinking maybe it had to do with both of us. It seems like... If I withheld truth from you, maybe that's what passed the disease or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, I know we don't have a, a full lock on whatever it was. Um, I guess I'm just gonna be more careful about that life transference spell. I, are, I, mm. I took precautions to make sure that, obviously when I'm thinking about blood magic in general, I'm thinking about how do I prevent lycanthropy from, and so there's things worked into the spell to prevent that, but I never thought about anything coming back yes, the other way. Yes, totally, yeah. You um, gotta use protection. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I hear that. Um, Maybe you could do the spell through a dental dam. <laughs> be hard to think of how to I'm just saying, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, Jawbone was talking to me about those nonstop before we left. I have a whole bag of them. They look like weird. Yeah. I had a good talk with Sandra Lynn, by the way. Oh, no way. Good. Yeah, That's so great. It was weird. I she was. I'm opening a dental dam. <laughs> I know what they are. Okay, it's isn't good. it? I, it's like, can you imagine? I don't know. I don't know yeah, the, I know not the, to shit on No, you know, I hear you. Yeah, absolutely. Safe sex, but anyway, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And so, what did you guys talk about? Uh, we, I just talked about how, um, you know, I was like, I didn't want to get too much into her business, but I was basically just like, I care a lot about my uncle and he's known a lot of, he's gotten close to a lot of bad people who have hurt him and this is the most stable his life's ever been. And I might have said something along the lines of like, if you ever broke his heart, I would uh, transform and stalk you in the shadows for the rest of your life. That was an emotional moment and I think she interpreted it that as a feeling and not as a threat. Cool, um, yeah. Which is how I meant it. As a yeah, threat. good. Well, good for you, babe. Honestly, you were so mad. Yeah. yeah, being angry is a real emotion and I'm glad you were able to express that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Weirdly, I find myself dwelling a lot on the Galakea stuff, on like the Goddess of the Moon stuff. And how she could possibly be related to... What the elves did. Oh, yeah. You know, like, Again, like I don't, none of the priestesses of the moon that I work with are l similar to like the the actual like elven church, but it's the same goddess. And I don't know, I just have like questions, I guess, for the first time, which is hard. Yeah, I know the feeling. It is hard. She sort of puts her face into the crook of your neck and gives you a hug. Um, uh, for the uh, and then you see that Ida is the last sort of NPC who sort of comes in and is just sort of standing over in a corner, looking around, um, uh, kind of like you know, <laughs> asking, just sort of like in an unfamiliar place, unsure what to do. Um, Did you say there was a bird cage attached to this place? No, there was. It looks like a birdhouse. Oh, the gosh. architecture okay. of the little sheds look okay. like birdhouses. Also, if there was, what? <laughs> I thought maybe play? Ida lives here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> What are the rest of you guys? I shove Ida my into a bird cage. Uh, are the rest of you guys doing anything in this I mean, little relaxed hanging time? Are we mm. trying to have a party? I think so. I need to be. I went. Rob, have you found any kippers? He's I, like. I was, oh, sorry. Rob says. Sorry, dude. I looked and looked, and the only kippers I could find are right here. Who? 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 Little, um, fish. little smoked fish. I will say, by the way, uh, uh, you guys see, uh, obviously, there, you know, there's a lot that happened in Falina before you left, but Fabian He's is back. like possessed of a oh. spirit and grace. Oh. <laughs> and He's almost too He's spinning so fast while eating this. <laughs> also, don't get me wrong, Fabian does still have the sheet with him in addition to Fandrangor. Flipping right? oh. kippers out of the Yeah, like just tension. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Um, incredible. Uh, cool. So you guys just start to like. Rog is oh. about partying. So should we invite people from the town? Because I have this spell I can cast called Fear, where I project a phantasmal <laughs> image of a fear? creature with the worst fear. <laughs> but I thought you were gonna invite I people to this I party. Can sort of, I can sort of try to twist it in a way that it's actually inviting. <laughs> You know, or you could scare them into the house. <laughs> okay. So we're full on party. I mean, well, I'm gonna check people, out my yes. crystal and see if I have any service real fast. You do before. not have any service okay. on your crystal. Do, okay, do, do people, I mean, hey, I love a party and I'd love to throw a party. Uh, however, we are here for business. Uh, so do are people so business minded that it would be an interruption to? Is there a I pool do. table? There is a pool table. Oh, I would play you just in a real, game. real quick, guys. And I'm just being real casual. Not this little conspiracy board I've started to set up. <laughs> Tiny conspiracy board. I love We're it. not oh, even gonna elaborate. In the water. How did you even get that We're, photo? You know, <laughs> you take pictures, you hang them. That's what you do. Um, do dark. we? <laughs> do we know um, the the um, goddess's arcane focus? She turned into a tree. Yes. Yes. Do we know what that tree is? Could it be this tree? This seems like a special tree. Um, I think that I there's a lot. Can we make of, it? I don't if know. you consider this a special tree, I think there's a lot of trees like this all over. Can we throughout. do an arcana check on it? Yeah, can, yeah, can I? Can I? I'm gonna snoop around. Can I? Uh, go ahead in a suspicious way. Go ahead. Not in magic. a party way. In a suspicious <laughs> way. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. All right. You see, I start going through their stuff in a not fun way. <laughs> I let it happen. I guess, That's can cool. I do a detect magic? Yeah, go for it. Uh, 20... 20. Flat 20. Um, you snoop all around here. Um, Spire Technology, this dude, um, uh, you find that this guy is expensing stuff to his corporate card oh, that has take nothing. It's, a take it's a, and nothing to do like dinners on weekends it's with a like tax haven. This is illegal, pictures. guys. This is illegal. <laughs> oh, we're not here. That's not the business we're doing. The ball. All right. We we're here for the, the nightmare. We're committing King. crimes. I just hope everyone knows. Right. <laughs> um, uh, other than some some <laughs> looseness with uh, his use of the company expense account, uh, you don't really find anything here. Okay. But it takes you a while to go through all that stuff. Otherwise, um, uh, y y you notice like uh, general stuff about the architecture of the building and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't seem that this tree in particular is that special other than that it's filled with that technology. You do detect magic. Uh -huh. uh, the magic you find here um, is uh, mostly like Arcanotech. It's like, oh, there's like crystals and stuff here. You see that there's like a generator downstairs for like electric, like a little crystal pylon, similar to what, you know, you guys made for the arcade fight back mm -hmm. in season one. Um, there's a like, mm -hmm. there's stuff to like create energy that's like magical. Uh, the, the only sort of blast magic you really get is, um, there is a thick, barrier of infernal magic at that Ooh. briar wall okay. that Kristen saw. Oh, that's saw. shit though, I'm a tiefling. Mm -hmm. So that's the wall the warlocks That's made. the wall yeah. that they want to get through using glyph yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, if we're not gonna have a party, then I'm gonna well, go moodily look I at that wall. I think we can wall. still have if a you, party. We can just oh, have a- The bolt, me, we can have a party. Give me perception I, check with advantage, by the way. Great. I really want to go around the town and maybe ask the, something about the town as we invite them to the party. We could do a crawl. Uh, 15. Um, 15. Yeah. Uh, uh, cool. You look out, um, you see a couple of things that detect magic here as well that are kind of like, uh, it looks like the, this town mm -hmm. has a ambient druidic magic throughout mm -hmm. it that extends a little ways away from Holly Hill, away from the Briar Wall, uh -huh. right to the Briar Wall where it becomes the strongest it possibly could be. That druidic magic is old at this point, maybe like, you know, a small, like like low centuries, kind of 200, 300 years. Uh -huh. um, but it looks like a powerful act of druidic magic a while ago took a bite out of Silver. And you can sense that the Briar Wall used to be on the other side of town. In other words, it ate this town. Okay. And that these wood elves are here. You know that that like sort of their 
MO is like reclaiming the forest. Mm -hmm. And it was like the last bit of reclamation they did was 250 years ago. It took an intense piece of magic. You can feel that it got paid for dearly. And it was like there's been no progress in like 200 years. Wow, okay. Um, so this place is this kind of thing of like a group of people reclaiming their homeland. Some of the magic also feels uh, there's like a thing that's like similar to the vibe you get from like the Thistle Spring tree. Mm -hmm. So there's like a gnomish vibe to it, even though you know there's a lot of wood elves here. Uh -huh. um, Fig, you were gonna say something. You, I mean, you vibe on that briar wall for sure. Yeah, okay. A hundred percent. Then I guess uh, maybe, I'm, I'm into Kristen, the idea of uh, going into town and maybe getting some information. Um, is there anyone like <clears throat> sitting in a rocking chair on their porch looking like they have all the answers if we would just ask? It's like one or two in the morning right oh. now. So it's like, so like five people. To to a yeah, it's like yeah. five people. Um, uh, it, it probably would be better to like rest and hit up the town the next day. Cool. Um, you see that uh, uh, Ida looks over at you, Fig. Hey, I think uh, people are talking about having a party here. Normal? Uh, yeah, I don't know what your... Uh, Plans are, but I think everyone was saying that you would be invited. You're invited. Incredible. My re response is yes. RSVP yes to the party. I will be there. Is it happening now? Am yes. I already here? Okay. I think it's tomorrow. I think we're. It's oh, it's tonight. tonight. It's both. I guess we well, should. We're gonna have party now. Huh. We're gonna have a party. It's one o'clock. Well, it just feels like we could. Rage I don't want to just like go to sleep rage right tonight? now. Let's yeah. let's rage tonight. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's rage tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna uh, rage tonight. tonight. Spring break. <laughs> yes, the ball. Spring break. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow is like maybe too long. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, That's what I was gonna we say. Got tomorrow, tomorrow, we're, we're gonna, gonna fight the break. We're gonna get like guys. attacked. So yeah, we tomorrow need a, we need yeah. a party when we can. We yeah, yeah. I agree. I think tomorrow we. Yeah. Also, I've decided I no longer feel bad stealing from this person because they're stealing. Yeah, hey, you can so party what are you without stealing? stealing. Well, I'm like Robin Hood now. Maybe like, like here, <laughs> like just by being here, we're stealing. Wow, little Robin. Rog has like a huge one of those like <laughs> cartoon hams with a bone that like is cut. And he goes, Yeah, man, you're exactly like Robin Hood. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. what you like. I have a like. really nice watch. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, cool. Um, uh, so I'm gonna say that uh, uh, Galir and Sandra Lynn both have Head to head to bed in the house in the van. You okay. see, Sandra Lynn looks oh. and says, "says Kristen cast Hal on the van. It's we true. still got a nightmare we king gotta problem. We got to crash in the van. Yeah. Oh. Um, but there's a bed I upstairs. It's so big. But the hollow uh, reaches outside of the realms of the van, feet. right? Sixty so feet. So we could we could uh, have a, we there's, could camp outside of the van. We could pull there's a mattress solarium out. Oh, uh, you see, here. Rod goes pull mattresses outside of the van, sleep <laughs> under the canopy of the trees. Let's do it. Let's do yes. it. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, Sandra Lynn goes great. You guys have a mattress <laughs> party on the yard. <laughs> see, I she looks out. She points at the hangman and says, hangman, you're in charge while the adults are gone. Hangman goes, very well, Mr. Sanderlin. And then the hangman looks up at you and goes, no rules. Oh! That's my man. <laughs> um, Some rules. Some rules. Um, uh, I just cabbage patch for a really long time. <laughs> you guys put on some music. You guys get some food. There's a, whatever kind of... There are a number of alcoholic Can I beverages, make... but also some uh, some soft yeah. drinks. Is there any like crab? <laughs> crab? Yeah, like loose crab meat. What? You find a bag of loose crab. Meat. I make crotchos. How long is that? <laughs> I make crab nachos. I go, I go nachos. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is this? I... Christian, what have Ron you made? Shoveling them. <laughs> it's crab nachos, yeah, dude. Get on board. This is not normal. But, this is a party food because my parents wouldn't let me eat this. So this is what I make whenever it's up to me. Everybody should eat that. Yeah. Oh, it's the filling like cheese. Crab 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 Adam, what's your time. deal? Yeah. It's crab nachos. Yes. It's not what every you like crab, you like nachos, you like, like crab. You like crab, you like sour cream. Crab like, I am, I did find blinis in and caviar and I am Oh this. yes. I'll Your mercy help! <laughs> I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna when everyone's partying, I think I'm gonna sneak off and look at the um just look at the wall. Just look at the wall. Cool. <coughs> um just like see if it You're there for like speaks to me. A little while. Go ahead and give me an insight check with advantage. Okay. <laughs> Just partying. I hope no one's off on their own right now. I'm not <laughs> going that far. I'm not going that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad, bad insight. So that's going to be a 15. Oh. 15. Um, you look at the briar oh, no. wall. 
Fuck. <laughs> you look out and see that indeed these briars are like, they're not like normal thorns. They're like hooked and barbed with also like a straight point coming out, almost like a Beck de Corbin. Like, like they look like the ends of like, uh, fucking pole arms, like the thorns are <coughs> nasty and serrated and everything else like that. Um, you gaze at them for a while and you can almost hear in your minds sort of like at the edges of your ability to hear, just <sighs> whispering noise as you gaze at the wall and you feel something very hot right behind you. Mm, I guess I look at it. You turn around, Ida is standing there. <laughs> she goes, oh. um, it seemed like you were focusing so I didn't say anything, oh. but also when you left the room, I didn't know which real sort of conversation to listen to. It seemed like people were talking all at the same time and didn't really care who was hearing them or not. They just were laughing and all kind of talking over each other. Yeah, and I couldn't really make out who to listen to or what was what was important about what was being said. You know, sometimes one of the things, fun things about friendship is just being a chorus of nonsense together and you don't have to hear each other. It just feels really good to talk really loud. A chorus of nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Why, that you, the way you say it doesn't seem great. Um, nonsense is bad if, but maybe it's not. Maybe nonsense isn't bad, maybe nonsense is good. Do you, how do you feel about nonsense? I mean, I feel like there's a time and a place for nonsense. Like sometimes I really wanna think about things, but then sometimes things get too heavy or dark, and I don't want to think about things. So nonsense feels like a really good escape. So you've developed a way to escape from thoughts that are scaring you. Yeah, I guess so. Didn't expect. I was like doing a crab stand. Crab stand. Crab stand. Crab stand. Crab stand. He's going to do it. Um, see, that's all just masking pain. <laughs> you see, uh, Ida says, um, I would, I don't want to overstate this, I would give anything to develop that skill. That sounds incredible. Do I you think you could? It's certainly <clears throat> worth trying. I definitely think sometimes some people are better at it than, or sometimes I personally am better at it than others. Mm -hmm. I have days where I can just really... <laughs> do a bunch of fucking crab stands back to back, metaphorically. Are there, what sort of nonsense things have you done to make yourself feel good? Uh, <laughs> uh, usually just pretending to be someone else. <laughs> That's fun for you? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I can't understand that. Because oh. if I was you, I wouldn't want to be anyone else. Because you're very exceptional. Look, the ball's a little shrimp. Ah, <laughs> see, 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 I wish I could take that compliment, but truthfully, I think you probably think I'm someone different than I am. Being mistaken about the nature of something and discovering its true nature is my favorite thing in the world to do. Are you engaging in this chorus of nonsense because the gemstone containing your father went missing. Yeah, I just had a, had a bad day. And uh... Her eyes glow bright as she looks over at the briar wall. And she um, looks back at you and says, 
Would you like a closer look at that wall? <laughs> um, okay. Good. Uh, she opens the sliding glass door, turns herself and you invisible, and lifts you up and <laughs> flies out through Arborly in the middle of the night. Um, Hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> flying out. Um, uh, she alights in the saddle of two tree trunks that have fused together in this like low looped saddle of wood. And you see that the, the briars grow thick up through in between the space between the two trees. Um, and even though you are invisible, you see that as you both land, uh, a little bit of light is cast on the briars from Ida's like fiery hair and wings, even though she herself is invisible. Okay, so see, remember before when I was like, I, like, why would someone like who just did what you did think that I am exceptional? I can't do that. All my magic is just like, cool. I projected the thing that you're most afraid of. That's a, a hard to master spell. Well, that's very cool shit. Um, do you want me to? analyze this wall? Okay, yeah. You see a like translucent version of like a see-through version of her in her invisibility. Like her invisibility has made you, you can both like kind of see each other as like pale outlines that no one else can see. She looks at the wall. Very powerful, very old. Keeps them out, keeps them in. Keeps them in? It extends up over the canopy as well. This is a full abjuration. Even if you found a way through it, if let's say that we were to dimension door to the other side, the only roads or pathways we would find would just lead us back out to the other side of the wall. This is very powerful. Really? It's keyed to infernals, devils, and not all devils either, powerful devils, leaders. The archons and princes and monarchs, etc., of hellish dominions. So. She reaches out a hand towards the wall and as she does so, the thorns grow kind of quickly, like a, and she retracts her hand away. I reach my hand out. You touch your hand to the thorns, um, and as you do so, uh, how they don't grow out as your hand approaches. Do you do anything else, uh, but do you keep pushing? <laughs> Can I just do you, have, you simply have to. You oh, simply you must. Simply Can must. I just gently do a little burning hands? Just like not in the normal radius, just yeah. at my hand. Like I'm like I'm making s'mores. Creme brulee. <laughs> um you hit the um uh you hit the thorns with the fire. Um Uh, a burning handprint rests on the outside of the thorns. And as it does, you see that the light and heat of the fire is sucked up by the briar wall, almost like roots drinking at water. The glow dissipates and spreads, leaving just a charred handprint here at the outside of the wall. And you feel uh, comfortable in the presence of this briar wall. This thing is meant to be ominous and imposing, uh, but the thorns did not attack you. And when you burned that wall, the fire went into it and went. Give me a perception check.
12. That fire on a 12, that fire went somewhere. It didn't dissipate, it traveled away from here. Mm. Okay, that was pretty cool of me, right? You're asking me if that was cool of you? Yeah. Extraordinarily, I found everything that you've done cool. Um, I just, I just wanted to really gently bring this up. Um, there might be a rumor of me that I'm, that I said something to Feth uh, back at the Elf Enclave. I just want you to know that's a total lie. Well, telling someone to choke on grapes, bitch, is a lie? That's all you heard? That's the only thing I heard. Was there more to hear? Okay, I did say that. I will own up to that. Yeah. That's an excellent threat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <clears throat> um, wow, okay. Well, uh, I don't know if I just made that wall stronger or if maybe I can use some of my nasty legacy to uh, get in there. Um, Ida nods and says, I understand that. And look, you have the blood of the nine hells in you, but I think we all have a nasty legacy in one way or another. Um, would you like me to take you back to the... Party. Party now? Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Are you, I, hey, this one's on me, and I cast greater visibility on us. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, she looks at you and goes, I know that today has been a very emotional day for you. Um, uh, go ahead and give me an insight check. 11. Cool. Um, you can't, she's hard to read. You're partially translucent. Yeah. She's got, you know, fiery eyes and fiery hair and stuff. Um, see, she just says, um, I know today's been very emotional for you. I'm going to return to Leviathan, as I've said. I need to work on shrinking the compass points until it is travel sized. And I gotta take out my compass points library card. It's a good library. I have spent a lot of lifetimes building it, so I really appreciate that. Um, lifetimes? Yes. How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. This um, version of me is 17. Uh, but I have been uh, on Leviathan for a uh, little over a century and a half in some capacity or another. I, um, I'm half Phoenix. Yeah. So when I die, um, I come back, uh, but I don't have any memories of my previous lives or anything. Um, I'm kind of raised by, I, I leave extensive notes for myself. Um, I don't remember writing them and I don't, it's an interesting, uh, philosophical question to say if I am in fact the same person, but I do leave myself very thorough instructions each time. Why wouldn't you just reinvent yourself each time? Um, Not that you'd have to. I'm just, I say this as someone who constantly pretends to be other people. <laughs> Every time I come back, I don't know anything. And I guess I trust the versions of me that knew more. I don't have a lot of self-confidence and I don't want to make mistakes. Okay. Well, <clears throat> you have said some very nice things to me and I feel terrified to say something nice to someone, but um, <sighs> I vomit real quick into a bush. <laughs> and then, um, I actually think 
that you're perfect the way you are, and then I skateboard away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need I'm, fully invisible through the trees. I'm gonna need a DC twenty uh, acrobatics check. Oh, yes! Uh, I got a 22. <laughs> you grip the nose of that skateboard and take it 80 feet down a, a completely like vertical I tree. dropped the invisibility so she can watch this all happen. You, give me another insight check. Oh no. Uh, 13. Uh, you get no beat on her, you're just being impressive. <laughs> cool, you skateboard down. When you get to the bottom, you do this rad trick. Um, do you do anything, anything else? Do you keep skateboarding back to Holly Hill? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't really think in the moment. I just <laughs> so you didn't get I can't stick around. So I think you're perfect the way you are, and then dropped 80 feet on a skateboard down a tree. <laughs> to get, but then you like get to ferns oh, and dirt gosh. and your skateboard can't go anymore. You're like, Bad, a both level spell. Uh, I don't know what to do. I can't go yeah. back, I can't show my face after I said that. Uh, Ida, Ida flies down to you real quick and goes, <laughs> That was an amazing trick. Um, look, I, I, I need to get back to, to Leviathan. You're very busy. You're going into a forest. I could die when I go back to Leviathan and attempt what? to shut down. Well, it's a dangerous city. You're going into the forest of the Nightmare King. The future's never guaranteed. We don't have anything but today, and even that might get cut short. So what is, um, I know today's been an emotional day, and this might not be the appropriate time, but what I wanted to do is offer you a, um, I have information for you that might be actionable for you. Uh, but I have prepared a contract. Uh, she pulls a scroll. <laughs> Look at Lou. What's she happening? She pulls a scroll, this like ancient wizard <laughs> scroll out of a little binder. She says, uh, this is a contract, it's very simple. Um, she puts it in front of you and says. Um, is this about the library card? Because I took it out in a different name? No, no, no. Oh, okay. That's okay. Most people take out library cards under a pseudonym. It's a pirate island. Um, the, the contract effectively states uh, that I have information that might be actionable for you and of interest to you, um, and I will give it to you on the condition that you do not make any inferences based on that information. Um, but rather, so once you have that information, you don't make any assumptions based on it. You don't, um, you know, basically, th that you're not allowed to... Uh, the, basically, you're not allowed to think anything um, judgmental or critical once you once you get that information. Okay. Yeah. Great. So there's n so no inferences. That's the clause. Yeah. If you please sign there. Okay, I'll sign it. Yeah. I sign it. You really? sign it. Yeah. She <laughs> turns into like bright fire and whips up into Ida's palm. She looks at you and says, "Very well. Some actionable information. At any waking moment." outside of combat that you and I have been together, if you had tried to kiss me on the mouth. I knew it was gonna be this. I knew it was gonna be it this. It would have been received favorably. <laughs> Bear in mind you are under contract and you are not allowed to make any inferences or assumptions about how I feel or anything else. You've signed that, that's magical law. So there's that. Okay. Um, I. I, uh, I draft up my own contract that says, you, if you make fun of me, I'll freaking give you a wet willy. You see, you see, she looks at it and you see she says, legally this doesn't necessarily have the structure of a contract, it's more of just a threat. I kiss her and then I skateboard away. <laughs> Chin and I said, just so you know, I've never done this as myself before. <laughs> uh, you guys kiss. Uh, the fire of her hair <laughs> swells out as she becomes uninvisible. Um, um, and you, you truly, do you skateboard away right away? I skateboard behind a tree and then see if she, what she thinks of it. She looks over at you behind the tree and goes, Wait, can I do a check yeah. to try and hide? Give me a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> I got an 18. <laughs> she looks around and goes, is it normal for people to run away after that? I think I slink out. I'm really sorry. I just, 
I'm so used to being other people, and this is absolutely terrifying. Can I get another shot at that? <gasps> it was perfect. I think I can do better. Yeah, why don't you show me? Yes! 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 I bless this union! <laughs> Yes! Uh, uh, we had moved oh, outside to do the, the, the shrimp and crab meat outside. It's covered it's in gotten, crab meat. I'm going to say, cut back to the party. It's gotten weird. Rod's got his shirt off, and and you see that Tracker is crawling on the floor, balancing a crab notch on her head, and you see that Rod is going, more lobster! You're not lobster enough! The crab king, crab king. I'm a little shrimp. I'm a little shrimp. Riz is, cr Riz is getting emotional drunk. Shrimp are so little, and sometimes they just get caught in the nets and stuff. Kiss the shrimp. I'm not gonna kiss the shrimp, it's dead, Kristen. And we killed it. I think I look at this and I say, I started this whole party just so you can stick around. Ida uh, bursts into fiery tears. Uh, keeps her, she's like, duh. Oh, sorry. That's so nice. Um, I. Won't lie, uh, let me divulge information about myself. Um, uh, parties frighten and terrify me, and the only reason I stuck around was because you were there. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <sighs> Wonderful. Does it give you a little bit of self-confidence, like that, what just happened? I'm not gonna say it in words, I, this I can't. Is, <laughs> I can't, uh, again, I can't speak to all the Ida's that have come before me, but in this version of my life, this is the greatest moment of it, my life. All right, well, I'm going for greatest of all the Ida's. <laughs> uh, she goes, is it normal? Because you've initiated a kiss twice. Would it be normal for me to start one off? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ha! I just <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, You see that uh, you guys make out in the woods for a while. Uh, as the light begins to get, like the sky begins to change color a little bit, Ida looks up, looks at you and says, I should go. Right. Not, not only to do the work that I need to do, but I'm going to research plane shift as fast as I can for you. Thank you, but uh, does Compass Point really need a library? You should just come with us. That's, um... I mean... I just, uh, I... Yeah, I get it. It's like you're not just your life's work. It's your lives, plural, work. It meant a lot to many me's. It meant a lot to myself many times. Yeah. Um, not many times. It's only been about 175 years, you know. Whoa. It you know, it meant a lot to th the previous three of me. Um, okay, yeah, then you should totally go back and do that. And plane shift would be appreciated, but I mean, I just, when we were hanging out, I didn't want to ask you to do that because I didn't want there to be anything transactional. I know you're all about transactional, but uh, you know, there's a limit to that. Right. I won't charge you for plane shifts. Um. Oh, no, I'll definitely pay for plane shifts. I guess I didn't want to ask anything of you is what I was trying to no, say. No, no, uh, it, um, every time people ask something of me, they're people <coughs> that, it's not that they're people I don't care about, it's that they're people that don't care about me. And when you ask something of me, you do care. And so it's different and that's exciting. I'm going to return even though I desperately and only want to stay, but you- I mean, trust me, I really want to say all the things to make you stay right now, and it is only out of respect for your many lives of work that I'm not doing that. But you should totally stay. Just stay. Right. <laughs> Where's uh, Fig? Is she safe? Um, I'm You're going the to. Uh, right uh, you see, 
Uh, Ida says, He's I'm going gone. to fly you back to Holly Hill, <laughs> yeah. and then I'm going to tele teleport away. Yeah, okay, um, cool. <clears throat> I... Pretend like I didn't ask you to stay. That was rude of me. Uh, I only want that. Cool. I only want to stay. And the only thing I want more than to stay is to go and do something for you. And uh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, shrink uh, compass points. I'm just gonna research the spell. I'm just gonna research the spell, and then I'll get back to you, and I'll shrink it later. Yeah. The, 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 that's 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 a priority, and I just would like to see you again. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, let's fly. She pulls a fiery feather out of her own wing um, and hands it to you. Um, you need only hold that aloft and speak my name, and I shall know. Um, if anything happened to you in the Forest of the Nightmare King, I would just uh, start over. Honestly, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I would never forgive myself. Really? I was I gonna say I'd like to see you in action taking, you know, revenge. I rip out an ear cuff and I <laughs> oh! say, oh, if you hold this and uh, speak my name. Um. My thing actually there's a spell for. <laughs> is there anything that you're doing oh, right we're now not to doing make- doing gestures? I thought we were no, doing No, mine gestures. is extremely literal. Oh, mine's a gesture. I will treasure it. Well, if it has blood on it. I will treasure it always. If it does have blood on it, I actually can use this. Um, she pockets it. Um, you see, she says... Um, I'm sorry, I'm not better at this. It's all right. Goodbye for now. Mm -hmm. um, by the nine winds and the seven stars and all the secret names of the earth and beyond, I shall see you again. This is my vow. Fuck yeah, is my vow. <laughs> God, you're great and cool. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, you guys, after like truly an hour, see Fig walk back into the party. Yeah, She's dead. She ran shit. away. It's a shrimp. She ran away. Yes. It's I had a shrimp secret. Gorgug's the uh, crab king. I'm the crab king the now. Beer. Brog was the crab king. You had king. a beer? I had a half of a beer. Oh. This is great, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go use the hot tub for a while. Very Rog. <laughs> I'll use the hot tub. You don't use the one upstairs. It's filled with shrimp. It's absolutely filled There's with shrimp. There's a shrimp tub. There's There's a shrimp tub, tub and a galere tub. Tracker is blasting. Yeah. Goes. Let her use the shrimp tub. Shrimp tub. Tell me about this. Don't the don't the rules don't allow the shrimp tub. Leave her alone. Fig, we need you to catch up. And I throw Fig two beers in like a six I shatter one out of the air. Yeah. Goes, um, the ball, it's good to be all right. The shrimp will be fine. It goes, I'm a little crab. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm a little crab. But... A uh, Fig, you go to the hot tub. I lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> Lock the door. This is honestly too autobiographical for me. <laughs> uh, you guys party, get like wasted. Um, cool. Um, do you? I'm gonna need a group oh God. wisdom check oh right no. now oh, to make not... oh. to make sure that mattress night happens. <laughs> I will roll for Rod and Tracker. <laughs> can, oh, I, well. can I use uh, Boggy for advantage? Yes, you can. Can I wrap uh, the, the ball in my sheet, uh, and look at him dead in his eyes, and say, I believe in you. <laughs> Spring break! <laughs> Spring break. Uh, and give you bardic inspiration. <laughs> huh. Thank you. Hell yeah. I pass my crown of the Crab King to. <laughs> this is what we need. This is all we need. Honestly, I just wanted to be the Crab King. <laughs> You're the Crab King. The whole time I've been the shrimp, and I feel like I've been the shrimp my whole no, life. I just wanted to be a crab king. You're a king crab king. That means a lot that you guys need to be the crab king. Um, what are the our king. wisdom saves? Let's go over there. Seven. Interesting. 19. 22. Yikes. Um, what is, how much? A D6. 13. D6. Can I get a help action from the jets of the hot tub? Uh, <laughs> Two. Two. The most cut up I've ever heard of. Sure. Uh, sure. 14. 14. And then what'd you get? I think it was a 13. 13. 13. Cool. Uh, Rog and Tracker both pass with flying colors. Majority of the group passes. You guys remember to pull mattresses out. Um, uh, Hell yeah. You guys awake the following morning. Um, and uh, in. 
tired. In the dim light, <laughs> well, even at, it's, it's gotta be like one o'clock in the afternoon when all you guys wake up. As you guys do, um, you look up at like the gate, there's some like boulders in the, like the forest nearby. As you guys all kind of come to, you see uh, that Sandra Lynn is speaking in Elven, Galir's next to her. There are like 40 wood elf <laughs> rangers on boulders, all have arrows knocked to their bow. And you see that um, Sandra Lynn and Galir are both talking to this um, Wood Elf Ranger, you see that she has got um, uh, wearing like dark forest green uh, leather bracers, like archer's bracers, with like the, the archer's gloves. Um, she's got like what looks like um, uh, black hair here, uh, uh, and the sides of her head are shaved, but there's like a, it's like she's, her hair is like graying there a little bit, so it's like salt and pepper around here. Um, she has an intense angular face, steel gray eyes. She's speaking, clearly like the leader here, but you see that Galir and Sandra are also talking to a fox on the ground, just like a red fox oh uh, that is also speaking uh, up to them uh, and appear to be directing <clears throat> as many of their responses to the fox as they are to uh, the wood elf woman. Are they speaking Sylvan? Is that what they're speaking? Uh, they are speaking Elvish right now. Oh, so I understand. We all understand. You this, all, except for Gorka. Except for Gorka, yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you guys do as you awaken? Um, I turn off the hot tub because <laughs> I left it off. <laughs> <laughs> so you get all the matches, run inside, turn the hot tub off, run back outside. Oh, I thought I was waking up in the hot tub. Oh, God. Did you sleep in the house that night? No, I okay. slept on the mattress. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, um, I don't. I feel like I give it. Hey, Leah's talking to a fox. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. Are what's they all happening. pointing their arrows at us? Well, do we party too hard? Okay. Hell yeah. We I, know. I shouldn't um, have had that half a beer. We I should all bad. look really like respectable. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, <laughs> as you begin to awaken, you see, uh, you see that the uh, wood elf woman looks over at you guys and says, "Ah, not truly children. These are almost adults grown. Come here. What?" Sandra Lynn goes, it's all right, guys, just. Actually, I'm the representative. I just say, hey, I'm, we're here because I'm friends with um, Grover. Um, so Grover they... offered me this place to stay whenever I was in town. Um, you see that uh, immediately the uh, sort of leader of these rangers looks over um, and goes, you are our friend, Grover, Tilly Thatch. She sees that she immediately clocks your horns and looks over at the hangman as well. This woman is not about you guys. Uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion check. Can I kind of reach over and cast guidance on her secretly? Yeah, you can so cast guidance. Plus a one d four. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that is a twenty-seven. Hey. Yeah, the way you put well, that together, I thought it was cool. way yeah, lower. Too. Um, uh, so yeah. you, what I'm gonna say that because you got that insane role, you immediately look at this woman and clock her as uh, as a non-starter, never gonna be won over, nothing at all. But you also clock her body language and are like, she's second in command to that fox. That mm -hmm. fox is actually running shit. Hi, what, figure what? out faith. I reach out a hand Guys, to the fox. The fox looks the fox up at you. Um, <laughs> what? Hey, what did the fox say? If, if, I mean, if we like reference a meme saying. that is truly a hundred years old. It's not a meme, maybe. it's a song. It's an incredible song yeah. by two incredible artists. <sighs> um, <laughs> You see that uh, the <laughs> get in the comments, guys. <laughs> Not my catchphrase. Um, <laughs> the, uh, you see that the fox looks up at you with a twenty-seven persuasion. You hold out your hand. You see the fox goes, a handshake for a fox. My goodness, I accept. And you see what's the ah. hand, paw up? Hello. Okay, I'm um, leading this handshake. Huh? You immediately say that this fox is uh, an older mm -hmm. animal. It's like he's he's like you know a spry, slinky kind of fox, but he's like clearly up there in years. Um, so you see, he looks and says, "Well, I appreciate the deference and respect. Normally, outsiders don't uh, necessarily um, pay me that sort of uh, kindness." I, I bow to the fox. 
Oh, we're fully doing it. Okay. All yeah. right, I bow to. I, I also bow to the Lord car. Fox. <laughs> um, you see that uh, the woman speaks and says, Good morning, or I should say afternoon. My name is Mira Silverbow. This is the leader of our encampment, Nuathra the Fox. Uh, you see the fox says, I'm Nuathra. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fig. This is Gorgug. That's Adine. Ooh. That's Fabian. Fabian. That's Kristen. That's Riz. And this oh, is you Galir. All smell like good food, like fish and shrimps. <laughs> oh, you a lot of crab. We went a little seafood crazy. I don't know what you're you are. Uh, uh, you want what? <laughs> um, oh, you toss a warm pocket shrimp to the fox, <laughs> and the fox jumps up and <laughs> grabs it. Ooh, that's quite good. Right? It's extremely good. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> And you, um, you know Grover Tilly Thatch? Oh yeah, Grover invited me to stay here anytime I wanted, so I'm taking him up on the offer. I'm a rock star, so you know he's probably, <laughs> you know, kissing a bit of butt, you know. Mira furrows her brow and says, "A rock star." A bard, a musician. You're a troubadour. Oh, I see the strange Silesian instrument on your back. You see that? Uh, she looks around and says, "You come here bearing strange objects. You have a house on wheels." Very small house. And you see that um, it says, strange to bring such objects here. Stra and you see Nuatha looks up and says, Mira, Grover Tilly Thatch lives in Solace. These are clearly Silesians. This all checks out. It's all right. Um, well, welcome to Arborly. Um, are these your, do you speak for the group here? Your guardian? Uh, Sandra Lynn of the Wood Elves and your advisor, Galir Faith, uh, were speaking on your behalf, but said that they are in fact servants of yours, even though you are youths. Is this correct? Yes. Well, they're actually her parents. Yeah, they're my parents. Your parents work for you? <laughs> you see, Sandra Lynn goes, I. Uh, <laughs> well, we. Showbiz is a uh, complicated. Yeah. Uh, you see, Galir goes, I actually work for the collective, I'm an intern. No, Galia, no, you've been you, promoted to advisor. You're an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> you see that uh, Nuathra says, I don't know those words too well, but it sounds like we've just uh, seen a uh, promotion. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, you see that uh, Galia says, I'm gonna thank message you. It's Adon. actually kind of huge for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. I'm going to message Adon and say, should we just be straight with them that we're going into the Nightmare Forest? Mm. Um... Maybe. <laughs> that makes me nervous. <laughs> Everything makes me nervous. Sure, why not? <laughs> We're going into the nightmare forest. <laughs> uh, but arrows full oh, back. Okay. Uh, all of that. Uh, go ahead and give me another persuasion check with disadvantage. Can I give her the health action? You can uh, go. I'm going to actually ask. Yes. Hit a DC 10 persuasion yourself to be right. able to cancel out the disadvantage. Nope. Nope. Uh, you you have a little twinge of anxiety. You, still get a you know that you should say something. I have. But I just slightly slip behind her. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a. Oh wait, my persuasion's really good. Okay, that's gonna be an eighteen. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's <laughs> amazing. Um, uh, cool. Uh, uh, as they all draw bows, you see that Mira looks. Angry. The, uh, Nuathra doesn't look angry, but you see that his little fox's smile fades. Um, what does Fig say in this sort of tense moment? Sorry, sorry, I got, I'm really sorry. That was, um, that was an idea we were, there was, we're part of a charity. I'm, we bring, I'm, we I'm the Fig. oracle, and I, I, it was the elven oracle, but I've decided to be the oracle for all people because I, I think that being the oracle for just the elves is, Immoral, and this is—it's—it's it's a thing that we have to do. It's—it's um, it's a prophecy. Anyone who wants to go ahead and give me an insight check. Sweet. Hell yeah! Oh, that just went into into my coffee. Uh, I got a twenty-one insight. I got a twenty-five insight. Oh yeah! Oh, I got. Uh, did anyone here beat a twenty? By far, 25. 25, 25, 21. You guys all see it. As Adine starts talking, says Oracle, you see 
rangers whispering to each other and pointing at Adine. Mira furrows her brow, and Nuathra just cocks his head to the side and says, Yes, you are a high elf. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And you have, are truly the elven oracle. I do not detect any lie in your words. Do you, as the oracle, who knows many secrets, know of any other high elves that were seeking passage into the forest of the Nightmare Cat? Uh, well, I think it's possible that two might have done that. Ah. Two that bear your same flaxen hair mm-hmm. and the blue of your eyes, yes. Yes, but we are not working with them. In fact, we are we're rather explicitly working them. against them. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're trying That's to. That's why we're trying <coughs> to get into the forest. You Riz is it. really sweaty. <laughs> he looks at <laughs> Just super hungover and nervous about being around a bunch of people. Um, <laughs> I'm see, pruny from the hot <laughs> um, You see that um, Nuathra looks up and says, you are not working with them. No. Huh. I see. Are you working with them? <clears throat> Nuathra smiles. Mira says, still your tongue, human. So that's a no. That's a no. Um, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I really thought maybe honesty was my new rule. Oh, I think life, that was so right. I'm going to go back to deceit. No, no, it's tough, but it's good. good. It's, it's good. I support you. I have maybe, about maybe. It. What the hell are okay. we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> You're the crab king. You're the crab king. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rog is in the back with you, also unable to speak <laughs> elven. He's like, things seem fucking tense. I think they got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we, we think there's a um, demonic plot to do something in these woods. Um, You see that uh, they look around. Uh, Mira says, a demonic plot. Is that why your tiefling leader and this clearly infernal contraption, she points to the hangman, have come here to attempt to stop this? This contraption's actually pretty celestial. If you'd like to do it. The hangman. Oh, the hangman is definitely, Yes. We have a lot of vehicles, and they all have similar names. Morality is complex, and the heavens and the hells hold more than we know or can understand. Morality is complex. Yes. I would expect a high elf to say nothing else. Nuathra cuts that off right away and says, I understand. We are in a little bit of a tizzy mm-hmm. as a village. For the past several months, a high elven woman Mm -hmm. took up residence here. In this tree? Not in this tree. She had a room in the Owl and Harp, which is a gnomish tavern some small distance away. She took on the service of one of our own, a wood elf named Killian. Killian was a, a drunkard and bit of a cruel man, but uh, he ended up offering his services to this high elven woman. She kept to herself and her business was much her own, but she did have some interactions with the gnomes at the Tinkerer's Hall. Last, or I suppose now two nights ago, another high elven woman arrived here looking much the worse for wear. Um, and gassy. You see that Mira says, how did you know that? Her stench, <laughs> her stench filled the night as she walked. <laughs> I think someone had a really good idea and it didn't work out. It was extremely, I mean, everyone farts, right? But it was extremely jarring because she clearly couldn't control it. And not all yes. of them were purely farts. <laughs> Many of them tread it's on like the other they, side of the line. They oh. smelled and sounded so potently that someone could follow her even if she was invisible. She had to look for the other high elven woman at the Owl and Harp, and um, she, I think, was so embarrassed that she started crying. Rog, I think per body language they're talking about farts. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell from the nose curl. They're like yeah, smelling it's it. It's a lot of, <laughs> yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, um, you see, new author says, that uh, two nights ago, um, Killian and both High Elves vanished. 
Tinder. It's in um, that's bad. Mm, that's into thin air or into the shadows. Is there a, can't be sure. a world where I understood the elvish word for tinkerer? <laughs> Uh, I think that Tracker is yeah. is like tr trans translating some of those okay. for you guys. Yeah. Well, I just I like <laughs> curious why they were at meeting at the Tinkerers Hall. Yeah. What's mm. going on with the Tinkerers? They might need to. Our I friends. Maybe they need to get course Parents are out. gnomish tinkerers. I speak gnomish. Can I come over here? Uh, yeah. With the. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, could you take over? Hey. <laughs> cool. Uh, you walk over. You can speak gnomish. You see that <coughs> Noafi speaks gnomish as well. Hey. Um, I'm Gorgug. I'm also a part of this group. See, Mira turns to Noather and says, the group travels with elves, orcs, and goblins. Noather looks up and says something. Who here speaks Sylvan? Nope. Nope. Uh, he says something in Sylvan, and Mira kind of lowers her head, and he says, uh, what is your name? I'm Gorgug, Thistle Spring. Gorg. Thistle Spring? My parents are gnomes. Uh, tinkerers, and so I was curious. I think I heard, overheard something about tinkerers, and I was wondering what they were doing with them. Yes, uh, we have a, a large part of our community are gnomes here. Um, the druid um, who gave their life to reclaim Arborly from the forest of the Nightmare King was a gnome, and the gnomes have lived here under the protection of the wood elves for some time, and in exchange for their protection, have uh, worked on their magic and um, made this place livable and safe, even under the, far, the shadow of the forest. I message Gorgog and say, ask what that person's name is. Everyone yells at me yeah. when I talk. <laughs> Wait, someone gave their life for that? What was, who was that? Krathmi Root Drinker. This was about 200 years ago. Um, you see the fox, uh, its eyes, uh, or his eyes w well up with tears a little bit. Um, Krathmi was a hero and a very good friend. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, do, so, I'm sorry, what were we talking about? We, that, the tinkerers? The tinkerers. Do, do you know why, like, did you have any idea why they could have gone over there? Uh, we've asked the tinkerers what business Killian would come on for occasion. We believe it to have been spell components. Um, the tinkerers uh, are not necessarily wizards, but they do keep many of the components that uh, both artificers and wizards would use in their mm -hmm. doings. Cool. Um, but the tinkerers' hall is uh, a wonderful boon to this place. They've helped us hollow out the trees and without the trees dying and create our homes and keep this place hidden and safe. Um, so we owe them a great deal. Uh, is there, um, if you wish to visit and you know of gnomish ways, I'm sure they would be delighted. Uh, it's right near the Owl and Harp, uh, which is the gnomish uh, tavern as well. Much of the, uh, how do I put this? This was originally a wood elven settlement, mm -hmm. but much of the heart of our little town is gnomish. The tavern, the Tinkerer's Hall, um, the wood elves, he sort of looks around to the companions, and he's speaking gnomish. You see a lot of the elves seem to like not be understanding what he's saying in gnomish. He's like, the elves are, um, they're dedicated to their mission here. Most of the wood elves who live here are a part of um, Mira's order and rangers. Um, the, you are welcome uh, here if you grow over Tilly Thatch. It's, uh, I take you on your word, and you seem a lovely young bunch, though uh, we have not had such a uh, wild and uh, fascinating assortment of folks come through Arborly in some time. Uh, I would ask why you seek the Forest of the Nightmare King. You say that there are demonic pacts on the other side? Well, I think it feels like the Nightmare King's trying, someone's trying to bring the Nightmare King back and we're trying to stop it. You say the Nightmare King, the other elves don't know what you're saying because you're speaking in Noish, but Nuathra's eyes go wide and says, the, the return of the Nightmare King. The Nightmare King was destroyed, his crown 
I believe, taken to the to a deep pit under a pyramid or something along those lines. Deep pit under Kept in one of the safest places and the group of adventurers from Solace came and stowed it away somewhere safe where it could never be found. It was in like a dude's office. What? It was just in like a dude's office. What? It's a, an incredibly yeah. powerful talisman. Just like at our school. If the, yeah. at your school? Like I could have taken yeah, it. Yeah. I didn't yeah. take we it, but I could have. Like we were was, going through this dude's garbage. We all we saw this crown. It was practically next to the lost and found box. Yeah. yeah. It was in a dude's office. This yeah. is just a different crown of just seafood. Right if you want a crab, you can be. I, I, I crab. don't want crab right now. <laughs> that crown, if it gets to the See, nightmare king, our beliefs <laughs> gonna be destroyed. <laughs> all of this will be for nothing. This is, trust me, this is like our whole thing is stopping the man. So, hey, yeah. I'm going to run over to the tinkerer's place. Yeah. What's that? 60% of our grace. Yeah. yeah. So Which it's students? very important. You've come here to save our entire way of life because yes. the crown of the Nightmare King, instead of being deep in some kind of temple, was on a shelf in an office. I get and you, we, we didn't, didn't, we didn't put, put it, it on the shelf. We didn't we put it on the shelf. school. This is one of our teachers. This is one of our mentors. I'm going to... Run over to the tinkerer uh, place at an alarming speed, <laughs> and I don't want anyone to shoot me with an arrow. Is that okay? Oh no! Uh, well, who? Where is the night? Sorry, where is the Nightmare King's crown now? Uh, we Those we think that uh, my my be. mother has it, so she's gone with Killian and my sister with the crown of the Nightmare King into the forest. That's why we're trying. To That's stop why we're trying to stop it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we Noafa looks up and says day. something in Sylvan to Mira. They have Mira actually sort of like is incredulous. They speak in Sylvan for a moment. New author says, we do not have a way to help you, but every resource of our village is at your disposal. If indeed the Crown of the Nightmare King has even a chance yes. of crossing the border. Hell yes. Okay, so telling the truth can sometimes be good. Yeah. We worked it out. Good lesson yeah, for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I you guys you. think spring break. that they... <laughs> spring break, everybody. I believe in you. Break. I believe you. Break. Break. Clear what you all says. Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. break. Spring break. break. I have a question. Um, I had a vision, Oracle, um, of a, a wood elf who was sort of half dead and attached to a tree that was feeding him and he could see me. Is that a thing that you might know anything about? Can you ask to see a photo of Killian? Oh! Or Do you mean so I could scry on Killian? Or could, to see I if it was the same person a, who oh, looked yeah, at you? Sure. Photos I don't exist. think it would be because Killian was in... Killian's a gnome, right? No, Killian's a wood elf. Oh. Yeah, Killian's and they a need elf. a wood elf. To, they don't have photographs. Yeah, I mean, do you know what? Describe do you know what? Um, Killian. Killian house, so we could you describe Killian to us? And could you describe what this uh, druid hero root drinker looked like? Um. Uh, yes. Uh, Killian is a uh, uh, keeps his hair cropped short, um, uh, uh, brown hair, um, hazel eyes. Uh, unlike a lot of elves, he actually had a small sort of. Beer, he was able to grow facial hair. Immediately, you know it's not the person, right. the person you saw, um, uh, unless the dude grew a beard out in like two hours. And um, root drinker was a uh, druid. Crafty root drinker was a gnomish druid. Gnomish. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Got it. Okay. Cool. Right. May you. That. Were you all? Were you? You. Were you the familiar of that? No. I was the companion of Crafty. Oh. Oh. He was very kind. He awakened me um, when I was a pup, and I had many adventures with Krathni, and now I look after um, the town and the place he, he reclaimed. Um, uh, places of, of note that would be helpful here, I would talk to the tinkerers <coughs> in their hall. The owl and the harp knew the comings and goings, at least, of that high elven woman. Mm -hmm. um, the only other Thing I can think we, of course, have been trying for as long as memory can mm -hmm. give to find a way past the wall, and we cannot. But you are welcome to investigate it, and perhaps you have magics that we do not have access to. Mm -hmm. um, and you might also try, there is a possible entry point that might be easier, at least it's on the ground, mm -hmm. which is the Shrine of Thorns. And you see that Mira looks at him and says, you offered me the Shrine of Thorns? He says, if he says, what they say is true, then we are all in grave peril unless action is taken quickly. Nuathra looks up at you and says, the Shrine of Thorns is not a special place. It was not any great temple. It was just this village's shrine 
to a forgotten goddess of Silver who... Heard of her. Miraculous. Um, the shrine is, at, is called the Shrine of Thorns because it is at the very edge of what we were able to reclaim. Krathmi's sacrifice enabled us to reach the front of the shrine, but the actual dais of the chapel, and it is a small shrine, is still claimed by the briars of the briar wall. Um, Do okay. you know anything I think about Landrin Lear? Um, hold on one second. Um, they look up, um, you see the people uh, look around, um, uh, sort of shrug, Mira goes, it's a wood elven name, but not familiar. Um, what about the Silveran heresy? Um, you see <coughs> that uh, uh, Mira shrugs, looks over at Nuathra, see Nuathra says, that sounds like the exact sort of cleric nonsense that Krathmi did everything possible to avoid. But um, uh, uh, you see... Just to recap, do they need to put the crystal of the demon into, into a person a, and then a wood elf? Them. Yeah, I think it's, like, oh. I think it's likely I wonder, that Killian is in great danger. Yeah, I, I think wonder, Killian is a, stu a stooge probably. Do you think that there are Beyond, though, do you think they've already gone through? Yeah. No, I don't think so, because the wall's still up, right? I That's can scry for them. But I'm saying, I I'm wondering if, if I could, because I'm like infernal, if, if like I know most magic won't be able to get by it, but if I did like a really fiery dimension door, if I could just dimension door to that dais that's covered in thorns. They want to, so here's something that's bad. It seems like hmm. the good guys here want to get rid of this wall, but so do the bad guys. I thought that they right? had Is already gone through with the Gorthalaxis crystal. Why don't you spy on your mom and sister? Yeah. It takes you do something minutes, to talk to I your can... dad in the crystal? Is that crazy? They I don't took... I don't have any spells. That, I mean, I, I'll message if he's within 120. No, I think I have to see him to message. Yeah, I don't have any spells that do that kind of stuff. No, like daughter's intuition or like... I, yeah, I mean, I can try. Feet, daughter's intuition? Yeah, can I tap um, into my daughter's intuition? <laughs> um, can sure, I do, what actually, can I do locate creature on my mom before I waste my one fifth level spell uh, on a Absolutely. You see Nuathra looks over at you and says, uh, you have your leave to venture through the town. I apologize for the aggressive welcome. Fully understandable. Um, you see that he says, uh, you have your leave to travel here. The Nightmare King was defeated by a strange band of Salesians who came to these lands even before my time. And we are delighted, even if, you see that he eyes Mira, he says, even if we don't look it for a strange band of Salesians to once again appear at our doorstep. Thank you. Um, Would you like a little shrimp on each foot? Each paw? Mm -hmm. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, um, I love it. Uh, yes. Uh, um, so you see the fox who's kind of the mayor of the town or something? Well, fox mayor. Uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, Nuathra says, um, uh, uh, if you need me, any the, the, the rangers will be uh, active throughout the day. Any ranger may call to me, and I will come as swiftly as my legs can carry me. And um, But uh, feel free, again, to... Uh, the town's resources, mm -hmm. such as I have the authority to offer them, are yours. Uh, awesome. And I will let the people of the town know that you are to be helped and with all urgency in this matter. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, he looks at you specifically figure and says, thank you for your forthrightness. Oh, you're Great welcome. Job. Thanks, um, guys. Yeah, I'm trying it out. Something's different there. about you. Yeah. Nothing's different about me. I'm yeah. the same uh, as I ever was. What are you implying? <laughs> huh? Did you get oh. your tracker on a nat sev uh, natural 17 yeah. looks at you and says, Something is different about you. Can is I investigate Fig to see if Fig got her kisses in? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone roll an insight check. How did I get my kisses in? How? You I got a 17 insight. Um, I got a 28 <laughs> investigate. Okay. <laughs> a 28 wait, investigate. Wait, 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 wait. I get to roll. I get to roll. <laughs> Roll, okay. roll deception. Deception, and since I have my actor fee, can I use? Uh, can I get advantage on it? Uh, I'm gonna say that you're not pretending to be another person. You're trying to conceal something. So this is a flat deception check. What was your investigation? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. 
You also have the four, the D4 from me. Okay. Okay. Uh, even with a D4, I can't. I got a 22. 22. Uh, Riz. Wait, luck point. Oh my god. 27. Oh, luck point. No! 27 oh! again. My last luck oh point. Oh my god. You can roll the D4. Nine. You can roll the D4. Oh, oh, no. No. oh, I got a four. I beat it. I beat it. I beat it. I beat it. You burnt, you were at the oh, fucking threshold God. of the Nightmare King's forest. I only burned two of them, I only burned two of them. And you burned through two luck points to not get found out about your crush. Oh my this is the most teen God. shit I've ever seen in my life. God. Ooh, baby. What do you see, Riz? What do you see? I, I don't know, I guess, did, did you have some good crab? <laughs> Rog yeah. looks and says, Fig had good crab. He left the good oh crab God. by the hot tub. Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. Um, you had good I crab. crab um, <laughs> Nuathra and the wood elves peel off. Uh, uh, Sandra Lynn turns to you and says, uh, all right, gang, we appear to be in a safe spot right now. Do we want to split up to cover more territory? Sounds like time might be of the essence, but maybe yeah. we should hold off for Adon for you to hit that scrying. Oh yeah, uh, can I cast Locate Creature first to see if they're within a thousand feet? Within a thousand, cool. You cast Locate Creature, do not detect within a thousand Great, feet. Great, then I okay. will scry on my, m I, yeah, my mother, because Aelwyn has abjurative ma magic, so I feel like she would maybe be able to hide. Hell something. yeah, hold on one. Morning's gonna run towards the tinkerer. Uh, can I help on? Uh, uh, Sandra Lynn says, are you gonna head there right now? Do you need any company with you while you head there or no? Um, I don't know. If anybody wants to come, I think I'll hop yeah. on the I'll, hangman. I'll go to the ta I'll go to the tavern. Cool. I'll take us in. Many people just want to ride on the hangman. I should possible. also go to the tavern. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, Rog's like, uh, hell yeah, man. Let's do it. Who growl? Um, so Rog's gonna go with you. And Fabian, are you heading yeah. to, with the? Cool. So the owl bears all uh, with the hangman all head to the tinkerer's hall. Uh, Adine and Riz are heading to the owl and the harp. Um, uh, uh, but uh, Adine, you do your scrying first, yeah. right? Um, so they, um, the target must make a wisdom saving throw, which is modified by well, how well you know the target. So I know her firsthand. Um, so that's uh, minus five to her. And I also have her likeness or picture, and that's minus two, so it's minus seven. Minus seven to her role. Do I get more than that because she's my literal mother and literal so I have mother. genes You share, share mitochondria with her? Right. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm gonna say minus seven is pretty good. Great. Um, so we'll just go with the minus seven. Uh, ba -ba Do you have divination also? Uh, yes, but that I, have, I rolled well for my divination rolls, which is not useful. And that's a, that is a, uh, a wisdom saving throw. It's a wisdom saving throw, yes. Cool. So wisdom saving throw. Um, boom. Um, Adine, your sensor shows you, uh, hold on one second. Uh-oh, the music changed. Um, <clears throat> you, Put your sensor up. You are in forest so dark and twisted. Describing how knotted, gnarled, and twisted the limbs are here, mm -hmm. it is better and easier to describe this place as almost being subterranean than like a forest. Like you telling what is a trunk and what is a limb and what is a branch, everything is like, tunnels of interlocked branch. Like, it it has the vibe of like caves almost, made of knotted, gnarled trees. Like, sometimes traveling on the ground is possible, sometimes not. You get this image of this insane, nightmarish forest. Um, you see three figures walking. Your mother mm -hmm. in a deep elven traveling cloak. Um, you see that she has a nasty scars on her. Give me a, an arcana check. Uh, 15. 15. Um, you look at the scars on her, you're guessing related to the curse, and on a 15. The crown's curse? 
On a 15, you're wondering if the curse that your mom got broken was the crown's curse. Like, you know that this crown has some intense stuff on it, but there's also a possibility that Falinel just placed a curse on this mm -hmm. to like track it or stop someone from stealing, doing exactly what your mom did. Um. Uh, and it looks like your mom suffered the consequences before she was able to get to Guardi and have them break the curse. Um, another figure is walking with her, mm -hmm. um, Aelwyn, who is dressed in wood elven traveling garb. Mm -hmm. um, sneaky. Uh, sneaky. Um, and there is a wood elf traveling with them. The wood elf isn't wearing boots or a shirt. Um, you see that uh, s just <clears throat> bloody footsteps move behind him. Oh. His eyes burn with a dull red glow. Uh, blood has seeped out of his eye sockets into his beard, uh, and his throat has been slit, <clears throat> and sh from the slit in his throat, uh, his sternum broken apart, and you see uh, fire roiling in the open, exposed wound of his wide chest, and a gem um, glowing inside him. Um, uh, is there anyone um, near, or when you cast the scrying, where are uh, you? I feel like I'm, where we were, like where you next were. To the so you do this real quick before people. I yeah. think maybe the the you guys head to the Tinkerer's Hall and you do this. I'm um, yeah, yeah. I'm with, um, I'm with yeah. As you cast this scrying, mm -hmm. immediately, uh, and you see that like there is a dull red glow ahead of them, mm -hmm. like the burning ruby in this exposed ch chest that has been ripped open mm -hmm. is just casting red light with about like 20 feet of radiance ahead of it as they move through. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Killian, this wood elf, Riz was correct. Like this is now a puppet. This is just like moving through and this would have been Riz if you had not saved him at the Hotel Cavalier. Oh. Um, uh, you, uh, the moment your scrying happens, mm -hmm. um, Aelwyn turns up, uh, hits your scrying sensor, dispels it. Uh, I relay all of that to everybody that's still here. Um, give me an insight check with advantage, if you'd be so kind. Ooh, baby. Uh, 25. None of the three people that were traveling spotted your sensor. It was not, it was too fast. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can I message, I think Kalina might, is Kalina, can you see Kalina right here? Is Kalina here? Uh, I look for Kalina. I look for Kalina also, I would be able to see her too. I can't see her. Um, or I can't see the photo, at least. I don't yeah. know if I can see um, You look around for Kalina. Uh, Riz, make a perception check for me. And Kristen as well. Oh, crap. 19. That 20. Kristen, uh, off in the shadows, you just see a pair of eyes looking out at you. Fuck you! <laughs> The eyes narrow and the pupils go until they are razor thin. We know who you are. You don't even know what I am. Uh -huh. You see, uh, Kalina steps out. Riz, you cannot see Kalina right now. You see that Kalina steps out, looks at you, and says, here at the threshold. You got a big wall of briars ahead of you, kid. Yeah. It's very good that you guys won't be able to make it through that briar wall. Because if you did, I'd kill you. <laughs> Laugh it up. Because if you crack this case mm -hmm. and get to the other side of the wall, 
you, Riz, you're all dead. But to make it easy for you, because I want you to know that I'm right, mm -hmm. I'll take Tracker out first. Oh, wow. Cool. Gosh, that's so crazy, because you've been hiding in the shadows for literally forever. It's crazy that you came out in time just to make a couple threads. What's your name? My name? Yeah, do you have a name? You can call me Kalina. Uh, you see, she looks and says, I'm going to be really honest with you. Mm -hmm. I take out a Cortado. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. The only reason you and your friends are alive is that you've been down here. A nuisance. Not even a full problem. You've never for a minute been in between me and what I want. What do you want? I want you to stay out of that fucking forest. And she vanishes. <laughs> you guys, I'm so scared! Hold me! Hold me! Hold me! You look so cool! You look so cool! Hold me! Can I just was... walk through where she was talking to? Where was she? Where was she? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was fooled. You had me fooled. <laughs> I need everyone to dogpile on top of me and just kind of hold me down. Tracker, bro, jumps on you. Tracker's just gonna kill you. She's gonna why? Kill you why? First. No, what? She claims she would kill you first. No, 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 no. I barf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so uh, foamy. We recommend so much coffee. Over there. It's already been barfed in. <laughs> it's all, it's all coffee and shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> You barf, I'm gonna barf. We had too much shrimp, we all had too much shrimp. Everyone used um, San to barf. Sandra Lynn looks and says, and says, what did Kalina say to you? Okay, I relate everything cool. to everyone. Um, uh, you see that in Tracker's rubbing small circles on your back and going, radical honesty, this is great. We just say everything. This is great, this is great. Um, um, uh, Sandra Lynn says, you okay, Kristen? That sounds really fucked up. Are you good? I mean, now that I'm being pressed into the grass by all my friends, yes. <laughs> Uh, Sandra Lynn looks and says, okay, I th uh, I'm gonna take off on Baxter and I'm just gonna scan Briarwall and in, in give us some more ideas, see if anything else happened around here. Um, it sounds like, it sounds like the, our, our owl bears wanna head to Tinkerer's Hall. It sounds like you two are gonna head off to um, the owl in the harbor. Before we all go, um, and in my state of shock, I just want to say, maybe this won't work. Hopefully it will. But we can't control that. It's going to get inspiring. It, it's like, <laughs> how many failures <laughs> can you take in a row? Um, I love all you guys. Are you texting? <laughs> I'm texting it to you guys. You guys are getting like part one of 48. All you get is fail to deliver, fail to deliver, <laughs> fail to deliver. So really, you know, trying is the most that we could do. And she seems really powerful. Like, and we're not, you know? Um, but yeah, now you guys all got 16 temporary <laughs> <Yay>! points. <laughs> Um, Riz, go ahead and give me an investigation roll. 28. 28? You didn't see Kalina. Hmm. You didn't see Kalina. Not only did you not see Kalina, you were looking at where Kristen was, like, while Kristen was having that conversation and everyone else was tense, you were like clue hunting. Mm -hmm. You take out your little magnifying glass. <laughs> uh, the grass that Kalina was stepping on has no trait, no bend to it, no crease, no nothing. Look at the photograph. Yeah. Uh, I pull out the photograph and look at it. You see her fine? I see her? You see her in the photograph? Yeah. Oh, there so was... it was just some kind of hologram. There was specifically some sort of hologram just to. But she in. cast counterspell on me. Wait, didn't your sister ca your cast sister cast counterspell on you? Oh, okay. We, 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 Reese, when when For, you were doing the scrying, to get rid of the scrying, it was oh, it was, that was Aylwin. Aylwin turned around and zapped it. Oh, okay. But she Aylwin turned seen. around. Not she didn't spot you. Oh, she just oh. knew was told mm -hmm. somehow. Was to that, almost that, yeah. You're like was told it okay. was there. So she's at least. 
watching us in some way? She's at least, it, it, I mean, it means that she's somewhere that she's busy enough that she can't physically be here. Right, I don't know if she's ever physically. Anywhere, yeah. Anywhere. yeah as soon right? as you say that, Riz, you think about the fact that Pac's sleeve yes. yeah. isn't touching bent, anything. isn't yeah. touching anything. People that can't see Kalina don't see the sleeve there. Like, the grass isn't bent. You're not sure if Kalina exists physically anywhere. Yeah, I think she's she has full to of work shit when she says that we workers. can't, that the reason she's not going after us is because we're not a big enough nuisance yet. I think she doesn't. She can. I think the, this ritual, whatever your mom and sister are working on, is going to make it's her whole. It's going to give her a body. Ugh. And they're she, it, deep in there, the, right? When we were in the Leviathan, right? didn't she's she the, hurt you or threaten to hurt you? Didn't, Got it. She threatened. I jumped out a window. <laughs> She but that was hurt. all you? You that did was, all that damage to well, yourself? You guys, would, I got sleep paralysis, so she can affect like our dreams. I'm running with. <laughs> yeah, you guys, last night was so much fun. <laughs> you guys, yeah, you head off. And Riz, you also come back to the fact that in the photograph, Kalina didn't drink, mm -hmm. was not holding a glass. Mm -hmm. Can't hold anything, she maybe. She doesn't drink anything. Did she eat? Maybe did she you? can't, she's incorporeal. Yes. She's, yeah. but I think she's- They're trying to give her a body. Yeah. How could she be there enough to tell Eowyn to counterspell? Is she just kind of omnipotent? She's in their head, Omnipresent? Man. Yeah, she's in And she's in head. your head, and she's, she's in, in your head. She's been um, in my head. Uh, every, give me intelligence checks, those people that are having this conversation. So this is just Fig, Adam, and check. Kristen, and Riz. Uh, uh, yeah, this is, I think, just a raw intelligence check. That's uh, going to be a really hardy eight for me. Hardy eight, gotcha. Mm, Twelve. That's fucking three. Four. Four. Uh, Eleven. Um, I'm going to get, oh, wait. Who had the highest one? Okay, never mind. I'm going to do both inspiration from my... Shady. Um, I know, I can't. Great. Um, uh, cool. Uh, uh, so yeah, you guys are there having this conversation. Um, is no, the 11 in, didn't crack it? The 11 did not. How about right. the 12? Oh, wait. Um, um, human determination. I get one reroll. Yeah, go for it. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. It was a um, four. You did throw it really beautifully, though. You're still, you. you're still on the ground being held down by oh, everyone, so it um, might be hard to the think. the weight of my friends. <laughs> Like a uh, so you were, yeah, you were talking about, about Kalina, uh, her not appearing to like be corporeal or anything like that. And then you said the thing about being in your heads. I think that you guys dwell on that for a second because there, there is some, you know, I'm, I know your roles were super high, but there is something there about like, she was like asking you questions. How in your head can she be? Like, to what right. degree is she in your head right. if she's interrogating you? She knew something you? really private about me, though. What did she know about you? That's not the point. I'm saying the point I is- I must take thoughts I didn't. <laughs> I don't <laughs> dare. I've never disguised Smooches! myself as you. <laughs> um, I don't know what she knew about you. She was, she was, yeah, she was asking questions about uh, your, she was, no, she was just asking what we knew. So she can, go into our minds. But not that deep. But she's not, she can't take anything from it, essentially. It right, like. she can project she herself can, like, into appear, it, yeah. but she can't she see can't what's read going our minds. on But she can choose she can who us. sees her, I guess? Well, unless it's bodily fluids or some kind of lie-based disease. I lie all the time and I can't see her. <laughs> you do lie a lot. Do I see I, her? <laughs> uh, no, you do not see her. Um, uh, cool. Sandra Lynn looks and says, this is creepy and fucked up. I'm gonna get on my griffin. Um, <laughs> you see that tracker, uh, you see Galir uh, looks and says, I'm going to go inside and make lunch for everyone. Oh. Sandwiches good? Yes, yeah. that sounds There's delicious. There's leftover crab for crab Wait, salad. look at me, Galir. Yes. I stare at his eyes, hoping to see, can I see like a flash of Galena in there? Uh, give me an insight check. Matt 20 is shit. <laughs> Um, oh baby, we're talking a 26. Uh, Galir is looking like uh, a little different. He's looking like, um, he's got a beret on and he's got a beret is on. Is he he's wearing kind of good? He's like? also like standing up a little bit straighter, you know? He's, he, looks, he looks good, better than normal. Wait a second. Hmm? Hmm? On a 26, that's what I see. He's standing up a little straighter. 
Uh, uh, you Do don't, I see you her don't weird see, eyes? You don't see hands? Kalina in Galir, no. Um, I'm going to hop on with, because Sandalyn is going to the, um, to the wall, right? Yeah. I'm going to go with her because, and just kind of show her that I can, that, you know, some of my infernal business can have an effect. Hell yeah. Right. Sandra Lynn actually looks at you, Kristen, and Tracker and says, uh, ladies, what do we think about, uh, I want I want to go a little farther afield just to cover our bases. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why don't I drop you guys off at that Shrine of Thorns they were talking about? Sounds That's great. great. Yeah. Well, you know what, actually, can I take Tracker aside? Yeah, you can Tracker aside. Hey, um, I need to chain you up in the hang van and I need you just to stay there. <laughs> I have to chain you up in the hang van. I'll leave you snacks. Sweetie, it's not you the full moon. can't you Sweetie, it's not the full moon. Have to be in the van for the rest of Sweetie, our lives. It's, it's, I can't lose you. She said that she would take you first. There's no way. I have so many heels and I can just be the six. <laughs> <laughs> you see? You see? Track looks at you and says, Babe, yeah. I love you with all my heart. Cool. There are Put only these handcuffs on. There are only two conditions that I ever want you to handcuff me. Okay. Okay. One. We know. When I'm Officer Kristen. <laughs> and two. And two. When I need you to be when safe. When I'm werewolf. No. Oh, That's God. it. Okay. So. Consider it. When I'm okay. Officer. Uh, so <laughs> you see that she says, "Let's." We'll figure what it out. What if Lieutenant Kristen says, "Go in the van." <laughs> What if Colonel Kristen said? I'm not it? gonna lie, that did, do, order. that did do something for me. But <laughs> for right now, we still have time. Okay. Let's talk about this later, okay? Um, oh, you see that uh, uh, Baxter goes ahead and grabs Kristen and Tracker in his claws. You jump up with your mom yeah. up there. Um, you guys begin to fly off together uh, through the mist. Um, uh, we're gonna cut over now uh, to the Tinker's Hall. Hey. Yes. <laughs> boys. <laughs> I um, hope they're not too bored over there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you guys show up, Fabian, uh, uh, Fabian, Gorgug, Rog, and the Hangman all arrive. Um, you see that this place is uh, actually built into a giant moss-covered boulder. So there's a huge moss-covered boulder, and it's got a little chimney that smoke is coming out of, and little windows. The windows have like bright yellow light coming out from within them. Um, you see that on the side of the building, there's just two big gears turning. Not clear what the gears do, <laughs> but they're turning. Classic tinkerer stuff. Um, oh, you don't say. Uh, yes. Um, as you guys walk in, uh, uh, or rather, what do you guys do as you approach? I, uh, I, can I fit inside this building? <laughs> oh, you, you're gonna have to like crawl through the door okay. to be able to get in. I just knock on the door. Uh, as you guys knock on the door, um, you see that the door, um, uh, a weird little like gramophone like, boop, comes down and you hear a voice say, who is that? Hello, uh, my name's Gorgug Thistle Spring, and I'm a bit of a tinkerer and I was just uh, seeing what's going on here. I can't fit inside very well, so I just thought I'd knock. Um, you see that the door springs open and a crowd of gnomes barrel out. These gnomes are not, they do not have gear like your parents have. You see that the, the guy who appears to be the leader is as round as a pumpkin. He's got a shiny bald head and a mustache like a push broom. Like it just shoots <laughs> forward out. It's covered in soot, goggles up. You see that the, uh, the guy next to him has like a huge handlebar mustache and a top hat with a gear in the side of it. You see that the, uh, the woman next to it has a backpack that clearly has folded canvas like ornithopter wings. Um, it's all of this technology is like 50 to 100 years old, guaranteed. Uh, see that the sort of pumpkin guy, he's got like a leather apron with tools in it. He comes out and says, <laughs> We want no trouble with but humble tinkers. Oh, I, I it's said, just... it's okay. I'm also a bit of a tinkerer. I'm, uh, my parents are gnomes and, um, and I, I mostly did other stuff, but I'm starting to uh, do a little tinkering now. And I uh, just wanted to see what's up here and also ask a couple other questions. You see, they look around and These guys, tr like, especially for like you and Rog, like come up to like mid thigh for you. Um, you see that um, uh, uh, the, one of the gnomes in the back says, well, if you're safe, you're a tinkerer like you claim, then what kind of ding-dang tinkering have you done? 
the hangman roars and fires at his eyes and he says, you speak now to the sorcerer that wrested my soul from that night. What are you doing? And the gnomes leap on the hangman with like artificer glasses. Hey, hey, and hey, get off of me. Hey. Get, get off. Shut up. I'm under attack. I didn't remove. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, it's it's not not a tube. It's Rog's like, tube. yeah, Rog's goes, easy, easy. Um, you see that the, the sort of uh, uh, lead push broom mustache gnome goes, well, if you you repaired this this uh, monster. What is this? This is some kind of. It's some sort of monster. Some sort of metal monster. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then I'll tinker you off for sure. My name's Crumpkin Springbill. Oh, I'm a uh, Gorga Thistle Spring. There's some uh, similar so letters in there. That's a gnomish name. That's a gnomish name. <laughs> 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 so going around. Um, um, I'm kind of new to actually tinkering, so I haven't done that much stuff. I tried to make a mechanical butt yesterday, and it didn't work out. A mechanical butt? To sh shit and stuff. <laughs> You see, they all look around at each other. Yeah. Uh, it was for the, the mo mechanical monster to be able to poop. Yeah. I desire to make waste in the mouth so, of my enemies. <laughs> all this is to say, I'm pretty new to it. Um, <laughs> but I was just here, just kind of thought I'd pop in and see what's going on in here, because I like this kind of stuff and see what's going on. And also, we're just, we're trying to figure out, there's some people who came into town a couple of days ago, uh, some high elven folks. They had a guy. They took a guy named Killian out of here, and we just wanted to, to uh, see what was going on with that. Oh, yeah, oh, Killian stopped by quite a bit. Bit of a rude customer, all oh. things considered. But uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Would you be happy? Could you tell us a little bit about how this contraption works? Well, sure. Um, Do you have any other tech or, or gadgetry things I, with you? You know, I got my uh, my tinkerer's tools, and I, my axe feels like I could do something with that if I used them together. You see that uh, some of them like start examining your your headphones. They're just, they're just kind of like pawing you, and one follows the wire from your headphones down and pulls your crystal out. Oh yeah, and it's like, oh, look at this thing! Yeah, I just kind of bought that. I don't really have much to. Say. I didn't make that or. Wow! Like that. Wow! Well, you you have some gizmos and doodads that bother the mind. Oh, yeah. Do we need to be afraid of like a butterfly effect type thing? If like we give What's these that? people like a cell phone or like a crystal too early in their like We're cycle? We're like on another planet. And, okay. and, like, I just want to check, all right? Yeah. You see the thing, it's like, there's another, there's a gnome in this town who has four refrigerators. Oh. It's okay. not that. Okay, I, I think it's like a, I just wanted to check. Yeah. I feel like it's No, okay. good call, dude. I get okay, it. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. call, good call, yeah. Um, hey, hood crown. Hood crown. Hood crown. Uh, spring break. Clean yourself. Break. Oh, I, just got, I forgot <laughs> to ask. Um, yeah, I can try to tell you about it. I'm, again, newish to it. But did what kind of stuff did Killian get from here before he skedaddled? Oh, well, he came by. He, he wasn't so interested in gadgets or anything like that. He needed some wax for some candles, and he needed some different components for ink and uh, things like that. Kind of your, your basics for the most oh. part. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, fiddle faddle and the like. And classic fiddle faddle. Classic fiddle. But we'd be happy to show. We can. We have a, a receipts and everything, so we'd be happy to come show you. And we'd love you to take a look around the shop. Maybe right. there's something we're doing here that we could be doing better. Okay, well, I'll give it a shot. Let him into the shop! And you see that they sort of like tip you on your side and hip, 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 march you sideways through the door. <laughs> come on in, fellas. I don't think I don't think the motor vehicle can come inside, but everything else. Great. Well, uh, Hagman will be back. I should watch the front. I wish for nothing other than to trample over these handsy, tiny children. <laughs> well, don't crush anybody, all right? Um, on your order, sire. Um, you come in and just see this incredible laboratory. Everything here again is ancient to you. Like some of the mo more advanced stuff your folks have done, um, it would be like beyond you. But all this shit is like gears and stuff and simple machines. You actually feel kind of confident in a lot of the stuff that's here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you, immediately it's like big, 
work tables and shops and vices and drills and gears and presses and stuff. There's a big roaring fire over in the corner with a big bellows next to it. Um, and they say, welcome to the Tinkerer's Hall. Uh, well, we'd love to show you around. We'll give you the grand tour. Now, right. uh, now this is a gizmotron. This basically what this does is it hops up real high and then you gotta find it again. And then <laughs> this, um, uh, and they begin to bring you through the workshop. Uh, looks like a little minor celebrity. Um, uh, we are going to uh, uh, cut over from the Tinkerer's Hall uh, over to the Owl and the Harp. Um, so, it is the early afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, Adine and Riz, uh, you walk, you can see the hangman like across a little glade over the Tinkerer's Hall. This is another place inside of a tree. Uh, but you see that there's a little uh, wonderful sign outside that has a, a picture of an owl sort of flying over a harp. Uh, and you see inside that there is a, um, uh, it's not too rowdy, it's like early afternoon, mm -hmm. but there's a couple people uh, eating a meal. It's mostly gnomes in here, people having a, a little drink. It's a uh, good thing the most, the two most relaxed, chill people are going to the yes. bar. Yes, <laughs> I think we're going to get a lot of good info here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dude. <laughs> um, cool. You guys both walk in. Uh, the place is, is like sort of gnomish constructed, but it is actually like wood elf scale. There's some like gnome tables and stuff, but it's big, big enough that like, uh, and you see that there's a spiral staircase in the center that goes up and you can see doors. So like each level is a one room suite in this tree mm -hmm. that are like the rooms of the inn basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hi. Um... My my mom is staying here, and she said that I could go to her room. Oh, you just said this to the, like the bartender? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is super so sweaty. Can I go? It's just it's her mom, man. Uh, it's my mom. <laughs> uh, can I can I get a persuasion check? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's oh, her mom, man. Oh, oh my god. god. I guess you could you could arguably say what I'm doing is not helping. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I help? But I think I've already role played. Can I not can helping. I use Boggy to give me advantage? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Twelve. She says, <laughs> "Your mother gave you permission <laughs> to go to her room." Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. Great. So I'm just gonna. Right. Which room is it? She just. She's bad at details. I don't know who your mom is. Oh, so this woman. I show. He, first of all, is <laughs> wilded out by your crystal. And he goes, uh, oh, um, sh uh, I haven't seen her in two days. She, she was staying here, but you can go. He, he looks at you and says, uh, uh, says, her room's on the top floor. She, I actually, uh, she has an outstanding debt. She didn't check out, so. Oh, she's gonna come back. To Give me do a deception. That. Well, that's a nine. What's her debt? Because <laughs> it's her mom, so. It's my mom. We could pay it. <laughs> and he's like, I sincerely doubt you two, what kids are gonna be able to pay it. You're those Salesians that are in town, right? <laughs> I see you've heard about us. I yeah, the, the rangers cover. that guard our town <laughs> came and said, there's a bunch of weirdos coming through, so hello. Well, I think weirdos is okay. a little strong. That's, We're look, normal. Offensive. Both of us it's are normal. It's a steep debt. She's got the top suite. Mm -hmm. She owes 10 gold pieces. He takes it. I give two extra as a tip. For the, your trouble. I'm so sorry that she didn't check out properly. She just probably forgot. Is she checking out? Is the room open again? Uh, Can no, we... well, let, let me make sure that there's nothing in there that she needs. And then yes, she's checking out. <laughs> Another five gold. <laughs> he, he takes the five gold, pockets it, and says, you know that you come across like you're doing something wrong. Five right? gold. He takes the five gold. He's so sorry. <laughs> doesn't know when He's like, stop. these coins are wet. They're this fully is... wet. Is it hot in here? It's completely normal temperature. Cool. We you haven't seen a frog this round before? I'm noticing. Okay, <laughs> nice. Other, congratulations on your frog. All the other floor. gnomes are We're just rocking like t-shirts and stuff. We're going to go upstairs. I had a lot of shrimp. I'm going to go upstairs. You like Where'd shrimp? you get shrimp? 
<laughs> okay, top while. floor. The thank crab, you. I'm the crab thank you. day. <laughs> I, go, I go upstairs. Incredible. Well, we the, it. Fucking, the fucking <laughs> research <laughs> squad fronting one of the missions is so funny. Um, um, you guys spent the solid upstairs, gold. Uh, open, open the door. Uh, you guys open the door uh -huh. and see a room spattered with blood, covered in half-burnt yeah. candles, Please. all kinds of arcane shit on the floor, and images that your mother clearly drew of a skeletal robed figure wearing a crown etched into the wall of the room. Uh, this is the wrong music for I this know. moment. <laughs> Riz's Sometimes I remember to change the playlist. Yeah. Other times, guys, I don't. <laughs> this is in Riz's head because now Riz is comfortable. He's like, okay, right. this I can work with. Yeah, Talking, this is this yeah. is this, this is, is, our, this is, is literally an arcane perfect. crime scene. Yeah. You guys look at each perfect. other and are like, we got it. You and I have Great. this. Perfect. Talking to oh my goodness, we a did it. This is perfect. For <laughs> no, no, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, cool. Um, uh, Sandra Lynn drops Tracker, Kristen, and Fig at the briar wall, at a place where the briar wall has partially crushed and consumed a small uh, shrine made of mossy stones and plinths put together uh, with an old clay roof and wood elven etchings uh, around it. Um, as she drops you guys off, you walk inside, uh, Tracker blows into her hands, and the room fills with motes of moonlight. As you enter this place, uh, you see the shrine, and you see briars that have like broken through the stone of the shrine, past some like stone seats where the shrine would begin, move through. You guys can make any religion check you want. Yeah, definitely. Make a religion check just in case. Uh, you get. 22. You see, 22. By the way, you see Tracker moves past the door and casts the light spell, and then you see that Goosebumps rays, and she kind of shakes, and you see her eyes go yellow for a second. And she goes, like, um, Babe, I don't feel good. I'm just going to step outside for a second. What was that? Um, it's not, it's not Kalina shit. It's just, um, yeah, you're, I'm, yeah. I don't feel good in this. I feel kind of like sick or nauseous. Okay, yeah, um, yeah get out of here. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm not gonna go away. I'm, she literally just goes like past the doorstep, just watching you. You watch this like some weird church doorstep shit of like a vampire not being able to enter a church or something. There's something going oh. on here of like, Tracker's kind of like repelled by this room. You see a mural covered by not thorns, but just regular vines up on the wall. And you immediately recognize it as a religious symbol, fig. You look at the briars that are blocking the back half of the shrine. Mm -hmm. uh, in that place, you see a charred handprint on the briars here in the shrine. I made that. Um, I made that handprint. What are you talking about? Uh, oh. Uh, there's, you don't see that charred handprint? Yeah, yeah, I see it, but what do you mean? You were here already? No, I made that like at the top of the, at like the top of the briars. What did you do? I was, uh, um, I was working Tracker on calls. a song. What were you doing? I was working on a song. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, so wait, yeah. you made a handprint at the top and it's here? Yeah. Can I try, I'm gonna burning hands again, that same thing. Um, cool. Krista, I'm gonna describe what you saw on the mural first covered in vines. Yeah, yeah. I assume you like, while you were walking, you like cleared. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I used my stuff and I'm like, there is an ancient depiction of a woman uh, carved and etched uh, in a giant dark gown, like robe and cape. Um, her hair dark as the night, spreading out away from her in all directions, holding a book. Um, you see that uh, holding a book, she is uh, in the, uh, the sort of holding a book. Next to her, you see there is a like small dwelling in the mural behind her, holding a book and a broomstick. 
crawling across her shoulders is a black cat. Uh, where is wait. where on this mural is my charred handprint? That's the mural you see. Your charred handprint is on the briars. Oh. As you approach the briars and cast burning hands on it, you <sighs> the hand catches, and you see the fire spread. <sighs> As it spreads, it spreads into a full oval. It stretches, it goes into the briars, destroys them, and there is a burning doorway in front of you. Within the burning doorway that you see, you find, uh, hold on one second, that burning doorway spreads and spreads and spreads. Do uh, this, Kristen. Hold on one <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is a gizmatron. Um, <laughs> um, um, wow, that goes high. You see the doorway <laughs> burns, spreads, fire moves. It creates a burning doorway. It opens. You see a red sky of fire and a blasted red plane. And a figure walks out of the door. A woman dressed in black steel plate armor who uh, with a horned black helmet and an open face with the burnt skeletal remnants of wings, but just like the bones and scarred, burned thing of wings, and a porcelain white face with ruby red lips, a beautiful woman's face that you can see uh, doesn't meet her armor. All of her skin but her face has been flayed off her body. Uh, and everything else is covered in, but you can't, you can only see it at the edge of her face because then the armor starts and fully covers her. She walks out with a burning scroll and says, Figaroth Faith? Yeah. I'm Vraz the Mean, Executor Potentate of the Dominion of Avernus, Arch Secretary to Blozo the Undiminished, Regnant of Sloth. You've been served. And that's all for this <laughs> week on Fantasy High. Truly, what? <laughs>